Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to my live broadcasting. God bless you. I hope everybody is doing okay. God bless your families. Thank you for joining in. To be honest guys, I didn't want to go live today because you know many people are busy including myself but you know i wanted to go live to say hi and <clears throat> to enjoy one of the last days of 2019 with you i mean you are my family you are my brothers and sisters in christ what is what is better than to be with you together in the last couple of days <clears throat> before it's going to be 2020 2020 so thank you for joining in let everybody know that we are live thank you for your support thank you for your donations <clears throat> before we start guys before we start Pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, so we'll be guided through today's live show. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, pray with me. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience. Lord, thank you for your grace. And thank you for this amazing last year, 2019. Thank you, Lord, for my beloved audience and subscribers who kept supporting us day in day out for the last year please lord bless them and their families please god keep all of us healthy and safe in the upcoming year 2020 father enfold us in your arms help us not to lean on our own understanding but in everything acknowledge you lord so that you can direct our words thoughts and actions please give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement deception lies taqiyya or any doubt lord please lord help us honor you in all our ways lord Fill us with your Holy Spirit and please loosen my tongue today on my live show so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. God bless you. As we said earlier on this live broadcast, we will have the opportunity today to understand and investigate if da'if hadith or weak hadith, da'if means weak hadith is accepted or to be rejected. Because there is a lot of confusion about this very topic in Islam. Many Muslims are doing a huge attack on Da'if Hadith. So the Muhammadans are attacking Da'if Hadith and they reject it immediately the moment you give it to them. Should you actually reject Da'if Hadith? Let us investigate this very topic today. And last but not least, as always, when I finish my teaching, we will always have a nice Q&A session with our beloved guests in the live chat. Muslims, Muslims, if you think you have the courage and the knowledge to refute me, call me live on my Skype. I'm going to open my Skype. If you call yourself a man or a woman who has the courage and the knowledge to refute me, we are live right here right now maybe the admins can provide the skype id in the live chat 
Before we start, guys, let me welcome our dear admin Phil Herrera. God bless you, Lula, Lidru, Jazzy, Jibril, Akilug, PG Coffee, Peter the Wall, Marjana. I know it's very late on your side, but thank you for being here anyway. Carrie Ann, beloved sister, God bless you. Tony, Rome A, Sumarani, Marunduri. Malaysian Prophet Aisha, Joseph, R.K., Knight, Andrew Martin, all of you. If I forgot to mention your name, forgive me, bear with me. You are many. <laughs> Thank you for being here. God bless you, including the Muslims. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here with you so please have a blessed and healthy 2020 including the muslims we don't curse you as you curse us day in day out at least 70 times a day when you repeat surat al-fatiha you curse the jews and the christians but we actually love you we will never curse you right our holy god is a merciful loving god and he commanded us to love you and forgive you even if you curse us you don't know it but when you curse us you are actually blessing us because jesus said you will be cursed and persecuted in my name carrie ann thank you sister i really had a good christmas um and uh two days before christmas we were with my family actually and we had a really nice celebration with my family and we me and my wife we told our family that my wife is pregnant so this christmas was really 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 special for us so god is good right god is good guys please don't spam the the chat okay Behave, be respectful. We are all grown ups here. Don't be like a child, okay? I mean, if you if you want to debate me, if you want to debate me, call me. Why are you spamming the chat like a potato? Are you a human being or are you a robot? Are you a spamming robot? Normal people talk, right, guys? Normal people talk. So if you have something to say to me, Call me live on my live show. I mean, we are live. My Skype is open. My Skype ID is DROP Christian. Call me if you want to say something to me. Uh, Nero26. No, your prophet was gay. Yesterday on our live show, we proved everybody that Muhammad had homosexual adventures with the Sahaba. And he was raped by his own cousin. And even his uncle, Abu Talib, was sexually abusing Muhammad when he was an eight-year-old kid. And his own cousin raped him. Ibn Ammi Fahata Ka'ardi, said Muhammad. My cousin raped me. So the gay one is your prophet, Abdul. Okay? But you're a coward. You will not call me. So why are you following a gay? Why are you attacking a gay? While your own prophet was gay. You hypocrite munafiq. Was he gay? Why are you talking about gays, man? Man, oh man. Anyway. So guys, happy new year to everybody. Happy 2020 to you and your beloved ones. Your loved ones, your families, your children. All of you, including the Muslims. Stay safe. Yeah, Peter, M., they can't handle the truth. They are attacking homosexuals. Muslims are attacking homosexuals, but they don't realize that their own prophet was a homosexual. He had gay activities with his Sahaba and with his own family. Something wrong with you Muslims. You have been living under a stone, brother. You have been living under a stone, brother. 
so today's topic guys <clears throat> today's topic uh, is about the hadith is weak brother hadith is weak brother we reject it brother but no abdul even weak hadith is accepted not rejected in islam especially 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 when it's from the kitab kitab al sitta right kitab al sitta the original sahih al sitta right the authentic six book books right or the kutub al sitta kutub al sitta right as you see I did a Google search, peace be upon him, right? At least he answers. Muslims don't answer the question. Exactly, Carrie Ann. You see how, how smart you Christians are. Carrie Ann, you see how smart you are. You're a really blessed sister, man. Embarrassing hadith means automatically it's weak, brother. When it's embarrassing, when it's embarrassing about the Prophet of Islam, it meant it. Automatically, it means weak, brother. Why, brother? Because it's embarrassing, brother. I mean, don't you see lately many Muslims are turning away from the Sunnah completely. They reject all the Hadith, right? They reject the tradition and teachings of Muhammad. They even reject Tafsir for the Quran. Why is that, do you think? Because they, Muslim, moderate Muslims, the sugar-coated Muhammadans of today, we call them cute Muhammadans. They are actually dropping the Sunnah, dropping Hadith, dropping Tafsir, dropping everything that is outside of the Quran, right? They became Quran only Muslims because they are simply too embarrassed. They are too embarrassed about all the Hadith about Muhammad because Hadith makes Muhammad look bad. <laughs> did, you, did, did you catch it, guy? Yeah, weak, weak means taqiyah mode is on. Exactly, Carl. Exactly. Hello, Kika. Welcome. God bless. Welcome. Hey, brother, sister. If you are too embarrassed, just say to the Christians, the hadith is weak, brother. Brother. It's too embarrassing, brother. I mean, you are making my prophet look bad, brother. That means it's weak. How did, brother? Automatically, brother. Uh, ugly Gangu. I debate rob Christian, i.e. robbing Christians. I'm, I'm robbing Christians. Okay. On Skype, if he didn't constantly mute people and screech. When did I mute anyone, you donkey ibn donkey? I challenge you. I challenge you to call me and in front of everybody, my witness, everybody here is my witness. I promise you I will not mute you. All right. So, you know, these, these Muslims, they gave me a new nickname. They are calling me this creature. Well, clearly, imagine if they called me, guys, if they called me a really wonderful Christian. Imagine if they didn't insult me and give me insulting nicknames. That means I'm doing a really bad job. So thank you. For calling me names, that's a blessing actually, according to my Christianity. That's a blessing. According to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when you call me names, you curse me out. That means you are blessing me. So imagine if they called me the wonderful, beautiful, Rob Christian. That means I am going to be the next James White. Right, Muslims? I know, I know, PG Coffee, I know. So him... And people like him and his boyfriends like him, like Farid, like Amin, right? They will never ever call us because they are too scared to lose face. They, they are going to get spanked. They know that. Right? So if they call us names, that means we are doing huge damage and they are really, really scared to death. That's why. You're going to mute me, Rob Christian. You're finished, Rob Christian. Right? 
Exactly, Karen. It means we are actually doing a good job. So God is good as long as we are doing an amazing job and we are called all kinds of names and we cursed out and we get death threats all the time. That means we are doing a good job. So we will continue. Imagine if one day the Muslims start to call me a wonderful scholar, Rob Christian, man. Have you heard of Rob Christian? He's doing an amazing job, man. Imagine that. <laughs> Uh, Nero 26, uh, pay attention, focus Abdul, focus. Christmas is pagan. Abdul, what is pagan about celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? What's pagan about it? You donkey, ya Jaban ibn Jaban. <laughs> Christmas, celebrating Christmas is pagan, brother. Yeah, kissing black stones is not pagan at all. Bowing down towards the Kaaba is not pagan at all, Muhammad, Muhammad delivering the satanic verses and doing sujood, prostration before Allah al Uzza wal Manat in Mecca, that's not pagan at all brother, that's not shirk, but celebrating Christmas, the birth of our Lord and Savior, that's pagan brother, brother, انقلع يا جبان قلع, ما عندك محل هون, if you are not happy, just go. No one is forcing the sword of Muhammad on your neck, yeah, Nero 26. Okay? Get lost, man. If you are not happy with what we are doing, get lost. No one is forcing you to stay here, man. Okay? So, kissing black stones is not pagan, but celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, suddenly that's pagan. Celebrating Christmas means it's pagan, yeah. It makes sense, guys. Makes sense. <clears throat> So let me go back to my original topic. What is meant by Sihah al Sitta? The six books are six books containing collections of hadith. Pay attention, guys. Forget about the Muslims who came to troll. Focus with me. Are you with me, guys? Someone is calling me. Okay. <clears throat> of course, I left my computer on again, like always, my other computer. Let me try to call this guy on this computer back, on my streaming computer. I'm not sure why I always forget my Skype on. Uh, this is, by the way, guys, this is the Abdul who is always stealing the Wi-Fi of his neighbors. Let me call him back. Let's see if this time, if he has... A good connection. Adamu Bakari. That's the Abdul, the African Abdul. I think he's from Nigeria or something. Let me call him back. Pick up Abdul. Pick up. Hello? Hello, Rob. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? So you are on live now. So what's the topic? What's the topic? This is this is. Do you see yes. the screen? This is, do you see the screen? Yes. You ask me, uh, sh uh, shall Muslims accept a weak hadith or not? Is it right? Yes. Okay. So what is your opinion on that? Well, I am teaching everybody. If it's especially if it's from the six authentic books of collection of hadith even if it's life it should not be rejected do you agree yes so you agree with today's teaching that muslims should not reject weak hadith the problem of uh, that you didn't understand accepting the hadith is not mandatory it's not compulsory on every muslims it's not compulsory what is compulsory is the message of the quran there are some certain hadiths that even if you did not do it, what we, uh, what Muslim is, uh, our main concern see, is see, that. I can't what, hear. Uh, what we are going. Hello. Yeah, come again. I, you know, you you really have bad connection. Come again. Uh, what I'm saying is that our main concern is that 
we are looking for whether we, we committed sins or not. We are looking for haram or halal. Yeah. What do you, a Muslim can do is it haram yeah, see, or, see haram or, or see halal. His, guys, so, see his connection again? Your connection Hello? is... Re Why is your connection always bad, man? I Well, I don't know. <laughs> but our main... Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't hear, I can't hear him, guys. Sorry. This is the same. I told you. This is the same guy who always call me, but he. I think he's stealing bed. Uh, the you know the Wi-Fi of his neighbors. I, I can't. I can't hear this guy. I can't listen to him. He sounds like a robot, man. My friend, fix your connection. Don't steal the. At least go to a uh, you know internet cafe or or something. Call from there. Okay. Sam Shamon said you're a joke, Rob. Jack Kelly. Jack Kelly, why are you uh, uh, using a Kafir name? Why are you using a Kafir name? Isn't that, uh, uh, is that, uh, isn't that hypocrisy? Ya Munafiq? You call yourself a Muslim, you use a name of a Kafir. Sam Shamon actually has a temper. He's a wonderful brother in Christ. He's a great teacher, but he has a temper. And he sometimes, even, you know, he, his best friends, you know, get, you know, insults. That's, that's his, you know, he has, he has a bad temper, you know. But that does not mean that we don't love each other. He's still my friend. We are friends for at least seven years. I know Sam Shamon for a very, very long time, right? So, does that mean we, we are enemies now? Sam Shimon called you all kind of names, Rob Christian. Well, he's still my brother in Christ. I forgave him. So what? I mean, we are all humans. We all sin. We all make mistakes. When we are angry, we can say all kind of things. Does that mean uh, Sam Shimon is my worst enemy now? No. He's actually my friend and he is my brother in Christ. Right? So, you know, you Muslims are so bankrupt, you have nothing to say, you cannot defend Islam, you, you don't call us to defend Muhammad, the homosexual prophet of Islam. So the only thing you can do is come here and try, you know, change the topic, because you are bankrupt, right? Right? You are bankrupt, and the only thing you can do is try to cause havoc, right? Try to remove us from the topic, right? Because you are nothing but bankrupt Muslims. Because you are evil agents of Satan, I mean Allah, <clears throat> your followers of a Muhammad, the number one agent of Satan, so of course, <clears throat> you want to change the Bible, uh, sorry, change the topic, because you have no shame, you have no dignity, right? So the, the guy who just called me, uh, Mr. Adamu, please fix your connection, right? You seem like a very humble Muslim, I like that, I respect that. I mean, uh, we are here to have nice, respectful discussions. Especially if you're a sincere person. I mean, we don't hate anyone here, right? We don't he hate anyone here. But at least when you call us, fix your connection before you call me. I don't, this is a waste of time, my friend. Okay. Is there any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Where is Amin? Where is Farid? Your, uh, your boyfriend's Muslims? Huh? Where are they? Why are they not calling? Rob Christian, you're going to mute them. Yeah, right. What a nice excuse, Abdul. Yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul. Abu Habib, Abu Habib, ya donkey, ya potato. Call me, call me. Call me, ya, ya donkey, ibn donkey. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Let's see, let's see if Paul created pagan religion. Okay? Call me. I mean, talk is ch cheap as in text, man. Guys, let us go. Forget about these donkeys in the chat. They are cowards. They will not call us. Let us go back to our topic. Main topic. Why Muslims reject weak hadith? Especially, why are they rejecting hadith that are from the 
the authentic six books, the authentic books that contain collections of hadith. Yeah, exactly. One, two. You have a difficult name. Sam Shimon, David Wood, Christian Prince. They're all my brothers in Christ, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> you want to use that against me? <laughs> Good luck with that, man. You know, guys, about Sam Shimon, Sam Shimon and Christian Prince, we used to be in one room together back in the old days in Paul Talk. I am talking about the Paul Talk era, right? The Paul Talk period. Sam Shimon came to teach about the Bible in my own room. He is a great friend of mine. I mean, can friends be uh, angry with one another sometimes? Can we make mistakes? Can we forgive, forgive our, other, uh, our each other? Of course we can. That does not mean we are enemies. He's still my brother in Christ. I love him. Lord knows. Lord is my witness. All right? So, why do Muslims reject hadith? Because simply, a lot of hadith are too embarrassing. They are too embarrassed, you know, for us to expose Muhammad, who said all kind of nonsense. The moment Muhammad spoke in the hadith, the moment he opened his mouth, he already busted himself. Right? Right, Muslims? This is why you reject hadith, right, Muslims? Especially the... Too embarrassed Quran only Muslims. Uh, right? Um, Phoebe, it's okay. You know, uh, I forgave him. It's okay. He's my friend. He's my, he's, he's my older brother in Christ, man. You know, okay, he was wrong. But if, I mean, if Jesus, if Jesus commanded us to forgive and love our worst enemies, what about our brothers in Christ? Yeah, so stop talking about Sam Shimon. He is actually a great teacher, right? He has a hot temper, but that does not mean that he's not my brother in Christ. I mean, even brothers can be angry with one another, right? Even real brothers can angry with one another. So let us go back to the topic. So as you see, Sahih al-Bukhari, Guys, pay attention. Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih muslim Sunnan al-Nisai, Sunnan Abi Daud, Jama al-Turmidi, Sunnan ibn Majah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Even if they are weak, they are still accepted. If they are from the six books. Alright? You have something called... Uh, uh, Hadith Qudsi, Hadith Qudsi, but that's a topic for another time. Hadith Qudsi is actually Hadith that is directly inspired from Allah Himself, right? So from Allah, Allah is the first guy in the chain. But that's a topic for another time. But if, even if it's a weak Hadith from the six books, that does not mean that you should reject the Hadith. No. Right? No. And we are going to prove that to you. I mean, I'm not saying anything without any proof. Right, guys? Muslims came to play here. Muslims came to play here. And don't fall for their uh, games, guys. They came here to remove us from the original topic. That's how the agents of Satan work. You Muslims are agents of Satan. You are actually bankrupt. So the only thing you can do is cause division among us and that will not work because we Christians are smarter than you right if you are actually smart you will not stay a split second in Islam in 2020 right you are following a man who created Islam 1400 years ago for his own sexual desires. He created Islam for his own sexual desires. And even Aisha knew. Aisha was not stupid. She said, Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fiha wa ya Muhammad. I see that your Allah, your Lord, hastens to fulfill your desires, Muhammad. Right? So don't fall for that trap, guys. 
because I herself didn't fall for the lies and deception of Muhammad. She knew her husband is a fake. He's a scam. He's a self-proclaimed prophet. Right? So Muslims are bankrupt and the only thing they can do is try, try to cause division among you. Be smart, Christians. Be smart. Be smarter than them. Don't let them, <clears throat> don't let them destroy the topic of today. Guys, why did I actually bring this topic today? This donkey here, this donkey, potato, Muslims are so proud about him, right? This donkey is a coward, a Jaban. Farid, I know you're watching. You Farid, you donkey, ya Jaban ibn Jaban, you potato. You are too scared to call Christian Prince. And the only thing you can do is make videos about it. Right, Farid? Uh, ya, 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 akhi, ya, ya, akhwan. True story, right? And the only thing he can say, oh, you know, Christian Prince, he will mute me. What? Christian Prince will mute you? Really? Do you have any better excuses? I mean, what about Mimi Hijab and Ali Dawa? Who was muting who? You donkey, ya, you, ya hypocrite, ya munafiq, son of munafiq. Ya Jaban ibn Jaban. Who was muting who? Was Mimi Hijab and Ali Dawa, were they muting Christian Prince or were, was Christian Prince muting them? Yeah, Farid, you're a fraud. You are bankrupt. Rob, Rob Christian, you're going to mute us. Right? Skip, Christian Prince, you're going to mute me. I will not call you. Do you have any more excuses, Abdul? Huh? <laughs> what a coward, yeah, Farid ibn Farid. Yeah, yeah, Farid, yeah, Jaban ibn Jaban. So this Farid, guys, he, he made his mission to attack Christian Prince uh, day in, day out. He will not call him. He will not call Christian Prince. The only thing he can do is make response videos. Actually, I didn't want to make any response video about this donkey. It's a waste of time. I know, guys. But actually, actually, this is a good topic, right? And I thought, let me bring him into the mix, right? Since he always attacks Christian Prince. So, guys, if you have a headset, if you have a headset, put it on your ears. Put it on your head and we're going to play a video that he made about Christian Prince. You need to be focused with me. Pay, don't pay attention to the chat. You need to be focused with me. So I'm going to put my headset on to listen to a video. And you need to listen carefully to what this Farid, this donkey, is going to say about Christian Prince. And we will continue from there and we are going to spank this Abdul, okay? So put your headsets on and let us play the video. This is the video that he created. He says, I'd like to change things up a bit in this video. About Christian Prince. Um, I'm going to be reacting to one of Christian Prince's videos. Um, I'm not going to be focusing much on the jokes. It's not going to be really funny. It's an, inter it's a, it's an important... Um, this is an important video, and I was quite disturbed uh, when I saw this one. Um, because as you'll see, <clears throat> CP lies. CP to lies. Someone and tricks them out of Islam. So, guys, he's really in pain because someone who called Christian Prince a Muslim, who called Christian Prince, at the end of the talk, at the end of the discussion with Christian Prince, he called as a Muslim and he left as a Christian. Right? This guy who called Christian Prince, he called as a Muslim and he left as a Christian. So guys, focus. Okay, please focus. This guy is disturbed. You hear him? And he's calling Christian Prince a liar. Let's see where Christian Prince is lying. Let's watch this together. Okay, let's the watch. One is the true one. The one we should do as a human. But always, always deceiving things is more attractive. And here you will notice with me. I don't know if you saw the hadith I was showing you that your prophet, he said that when you go to heaven, Allah will make your penis will never sleep. That's true. Isn't it the same as the guy who said to me that go to the bar?
which is the devil over going to help somebody who need help do you see a hadith in the front of you on the screen my friend i don't but i'm following you okay it says muhammad taking an oath saying there's no one whom allah admit to paradise but allah will marry him to 72 wives two from the huris and 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell all of whom have desirable front passages which mean muhammad allah even describing for us that those women are especially imported from hell do you know what does that mean why does like what do you think about why those women allah will take them from hell why they are coming from hell because they did because they're the dirtiest because they are what the dirtiest because they are hookers they are they are yeah. they are expert yeah. they are expert in sex so allah will choose for you mm -hmm. from the mm. from the warehouse of hell of the course, of the hookers who they are very good in because all the, the brothel of, of Allah is nothing yet. but a brothel. And now right? he describes it's all, that it's very a big sexuality. You will be crazy when you see their boobs and their vagina. Excuse my language. That's true. Okay, so first of all, the verse, excuse me, the hadith doesn't say that. The hadith doesn't say that you're going to go crazy. Uh, you're not going to go crazy? I mean, imagine guys, 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 are you with me? Give me one of you with me. Imagine if you are one man, you are one man, right? Let's say you blow yourself up. You go to the sex prostitution club of Allah and you see at least, guys, at least you get 72 huris, right? Two of them are actual huris and the other are from, you know, they come from a hellfire. I mean, they have big boobs like melons. Uh, they are so white, so beautiful. Are you not going to get crazy? Why is CP lying? What is CP lying? Are you not going to go crazy if 72, at least, those are the lowest Muslims, right, guys? But what about the best of best Muslims? They will get thousands and thousands of huris, right? Thousands and thousands of huris. Only the lowest Muslims. The, the, the worst Muslims, they will get at least 72. I mean, if you're a man and you are lustful, you love women, are you not going to go crazy for so many women? I mean, you will have an eternal erection. Eternal erection and you're not crazy. Where is CP lying, Abdul? Where is CP lying? Yes, it does not say that in the hadith, but use your logic. I mean, if... God forbid, if I was a lustful man and I would have, uh, let's say, three beautiful women right here, naked in front of me, and I was a lustful man like Muhammad, thank God I'm married and one woman is enough for me. I love her dear to death. I love her to death, right? O only death do us part. I mean, if I'm a lustful man, I'm after, I'm only thinking with my uh, male part, and I see three beautiful model looking women. Of course, I'm going to get crazy, right? So where is CP lying? You see, you see the hypocrisy with this guy. You're a hypocrite, man. Where is CP lying? Anyway, um, while well, looking at their uh, parts, um, and more importantly, when we actually go to the hadith, which I have right here, um, as we can see, the text in Arabic is quite clear that this has nothing to do with them being with with the female uh, with females that are being being brought into heaven. This has nothing to do with them being good in sex or anything like that. Rather, um, the Arabic specifically states um, that these will be good women because the example that is brought is the wife of the pharaoh uh, abdul abdul why 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 is it not one woman with me, with 72 males i mean uh, there's nothing fishy going on here guys islamic brothel is only created for muhammad and men like muhammad why not 72 male virgins why 72 female virgins they are actually nothing but sluts Sorry to say, I'm not trying to insult any woman. I mean, you are all my dear sisters in Christ. But clearly, those are big boobed women, right? They are all beautiful. They are, what, what are they there? What, why are they in Jannah? To please the men. So, 
What kind of women are they? Guys, good women from hell? Yeah, good women, guys, good women from hell. Did you catch it? Good women are going to be picked from hell and transported to Jannah to please the men. Who are you? Who are you trying to, to lie to uh, Mr. Abdul Farid? Yeah, yeah, Jaban ibn Jaban. Did Christian Prince lie? No. Clearly, those are huge sluts with big breasts like melons. Pow, pow. Imagine, man, you could uh, do a huge uh, war with those big guns, man. These are big guns, bro. Brother, big breasted women, brother. Yes, brother. Watermelons, brother. Oh boy, oh boy. Watermelons, brother. Yes, brother. They, they will never go, you know. <clears throat> yeah, they will not sag. They will stay like watermelons, brother. Pow! Imagine, bro, if, you know, you don't pay attention and one of the huris knocks you down, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be knocked out, man. So you need to be careful with those huge melons. With all those huge melons. I mean, we're talking about 72 at least. Man, you can cause a lot of damage with those watermelons, man. Pow! Pow! You should watch out, man. It's dangerous, bro. So where did Christian Prince lie, guys? Do you see... Guys, anyone in the chat, have you seen Christian Prince lie? Why, what, why are they in the Islamic brothel called Jannah? Why? To serve the private parts of the males who will never go soft. Right? They will never get limp. They will not become flaccid. And guys, by the way, as you see, you will, you will listen to this Abdul. He's going to say, this is live hadith, but brother, this is from the sex, uh, six authentic books. Sunan Abi Majah, this hadith is Sunan Abi Majah, hadith number 4337. Uh, maybe our admins can provide the link in the chat. This is Sunan Abi Majah, hadith number four. 33.7, it's the Aif Hadith, but it's accepted, it's passed. So it passed, guys. Even if it's weak, it's from the six authentic collection of books. Right? So it passed. Let us continue. Try not to laugh, guys, at this guy. He was, of course, um, well praised, as we know, for being a good person. Um, CP is aware of this. He can see the Arabic, he reads the Arabic, and yet he's referring to these women as hookers in order to... Yeah, what are... But of the course they are hookers. Heaven. They are not only hookers, they are, they are the biggest sluts with huge melons. They are bimbos. You know, they, these women are bimbos, man. They, they have bless, plastic surgery going on, man. Allah is a nice plastic surgeon. In Islam to look as twisted as possible. Okay, um, let's move on. Yeah, bimbo hookers from no, hell. He what fine. kind of a prophet he said that? And look what he continues saying. And he will have, he will have a male member which will never become a flaccid, i.e. Exactly. soft limb. Yeah, you'll have eternal okay. erection. Okay, yeah. This is God. Guys, imagine you have an eternal erection in the Islamic brothel called Jannah. Your uh, pee pee will not go soft. Are you going to tell me, let's say guys, you are in the Islamic brothel called Jannah of Allah. You see your father, right? With his huge... <laughs> that's not, that's not cringy, guys. I mean, how are, you, how are you going to hug your father in Islamic Jannah with two crossing swords? Right? Right, like this? Dad, watch out, Dad! I mean, come on, uh, put away your sword, man! I mean, Dad, your sword is touching my sword, brother! Two crossing swords, yeah. Imagine this sex cult, man! Really, Muslims, really! 2020, you believe in this nonsense? Eternal erections? You guys are ridiculous. The destroyer, are you going to cross swords with your homeboys in Islamic Jannah? Right? Like this. 
Like this. Hey, Dad, I watch out with the sword, man. Astaghfirullah, man. Don't touch my pee pee, man. What's wrong with you, man? Brother? Watch out, brother. Okay, so let's check out the hadith again. <laughs> like laser sword, yeah. Side of the screen, it says. Watch out with your laser sword, bro. This is a weak. This is Daif hadith. Right. Didn't I tell you that? Let's go back to Christian Prince. Daif, brother. But brother, this is from the sixth authentic collection of hadith, brother. It's past, brother. Why are you using such lame tactics, brother? It's Daif, brother. Brother. Back to Christian Prince. <clears throat> You cannot see a weak hadith, a weak hadith, it says, this is a da'if. <laughs> Who this cares if it's da'if? Da'if is right. past, Abdul. Let's go back to Christian Prince. <clears throat> da'if, brother! You cannot see the word da'if. You cannot see that this is a rejected hadith. No, no, we can see it. We can see it. Here's the hadith. We can see it. Here. Do you see it, guys? It's da'if. Everybody can see it. Right, guys? Da'if! Do you see it? <laughs> Daif, 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 Daif! It's Daif, brother! Brother! Stop, brother! You're hurting my eyes, brother! Okay. Did you see it, guys? This is the hadith, okay? What a donkey, man. You can't see it! Yes, we can! <laughs> brother, it's Daif, brother! Yeah, yeah, okay. Let us continue, guys. Head that away from the caller. He doesn't want the caller to be aware that he's quoting a weak hadith. Now, I know Christian Prince doesn't care about that. He will quote weak hadiths, and he says that there's no issue with quoting weak, ha weak hadiths. Exactly. But it's it's then past. Why are you showing? Donkey. Why are you showing the caller that the hadith has been graded as weak? Who cares? So this is the third lie. He's claiming that this is from Rasulullah He knows it's not. He can see that the hadith is weak. Guys, and guys, I challenge this guy to say that this hadith is rejected. I challenge you, Farid. Farid, if you are listening, I know you are listening. I know your boyfriends who are your message, Abduls, your messengers. I challenge you to make a video and say this is a rejected hadith. Is that a fair challenge, guys? I challenge you, Farid, to make a video and say this is this hadith is rejected. I challenge you. Call yourself a man, or either you're going to. Not be a Jaban, stop being a Jaban, call me and say every in front of everybody, this hadith is rejected. Is that a good, fair challenge, guys? I challenge you, right here, right now, call me and say to everybody here, this hadith is da'if, yes, it's da'if, but it's also rejected. That's a challenge. Right here, right now, man. See, live hadith, brother, but it passed, brother. It's good. It's okay, brother. So we still can use it, brother, even if it's live, brother. It's live, but it's accepted, brother. You see why I created today's topic, guys? Do you understand why I made today's topic? The hadith is weak, brother, but it's accepted, brother. <laughs> you see the hypocrisy? Yes, he's hiding it away. Hiding? And no, no, no one is hiding. Everybody can I'm see. I'm going to play this. Um, I want you to see what this leads to. All right. How that can no. be God? How this, how this is can be a prophet of God is speaking to me about heaven of God, saying to me, don't worry, be happy. Allah will provide you with penis, will never go sleep because it's made from concrete. Yeah, is and this the a prophet women, of God? Allah will go to the warehouse of hell and he will import for you the best women in sex from hellfire. Exactly. With big breasted yeah. well melons. Shameless. Melons. Shameless. So Adam, what are you shameless. Waiting? Guys, do you hear it? Look what he's saying. This is shameless. Shameless. So my friend Adam, what are you? What? What for? is it? Shameless. Yeah. Bought for you the best women in sex from hellfire. Where is this it? What is it, Farid? Yeah. Shameless. 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 Guys, he is following a prophet who is a homosexual prophet. Right? A bisexual prophet who created Islam for sex and sex alone. And Aisha saying, Ma ara rabbuka illa yusari fi ya Muhammad. I see that your Allah always hastens to fulfill your sexual desires. 
and he's calling Christian Prince shameless because Christian Prince is quoting Hadith, explaining the Hadith. Who is the shameless one? You are not, you are shameless. You have no shame. I'm telling it to everybody. You Farid, you have no shame. You have no honor, you have no dignity for following such a man-made sex cult. Who is the shameless one? <laughs> you see the hypocrisy, you guys? Shameless. Shameless. Oh, are you going to cry, Farid? So my friend Adam, what are you waiting for? Don't cry, man. Denounce this garbage, man. This is this is not for you. You are smarter than this. You are honorable man. You cannot be a person who exactly. Yeah, Subhanallah. Muslims Subhana Muhammad. Don't, uh, brother, don't say Subhanallah. Chapter forty-eight, ayah nine. It clearly says that Muhammad is equal to Allah. You have to glorify, do tasbih for Muhammad every morning and evening. Chapter forty-eight, ayah nine. Okay. Say Subhanallah and Subhan Muhammad because Muhammad is your God too. Muslims have denounced this by calling this a weak hadith. He's holding Denounced! This. Denounced! You filthy liar! You filthy liar! You have no shame! You're the one who have no shame, you have no dignity. Denounced? What is it doing in your six authentic hadith collection books? You filthy liar! You have no shame! You're the one who is deceiving your crowd. You are the one who are who is deceiving your audience, not Christian Prince. We're going to prove to you guys. We're going to prove to you that weak hadith is passed. Watch, we're not done. Against Islam in order to convert a Muslim to Christianity. It's ajib. Ajib, ajib, ajib. Disgusting individual. Disgusting is you, the disgusting is you. You're an evil man like your prophet because you're a follower of this evil man, self-proclaimed prophet. Who is the disgusting, guys? Christian Prince is disgusting for reading weak hadith, guys. Can you imagine? We are quoting weak hadith and we are the disgusted one. We are helping the poor victims out of Islam by showing them the truth about their sexual predator, i.e. Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. And we are, we are the disgusting persons, guys. Can you imagine? So where do I belong? Do you want to belong to Muhammad after what you heard? Do you want to belong to this? <coughs> Do you want really to believe in someone teaching you this? Mm. Be honest. Well, no. Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you, I hear you. Yeah, so um, based on what you said, no, but, you know, no. So my friend, say it. Say Muhammad can't be a prophet. Denounce Muhammad right now. Denounce the devil, my friend. Yeah, no normal human should ever accept that you are going to a brothel with an eternal erection. No normal so thinking you want me to... human. Denounce, denounce. denounce the devil, denounce Muhammad. Obviously, this is the devil, my friend. Exactly. Say Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. I am out of this. This is an insult for God. Okay. So what is it? What, what do you think? What you should say? I think... Brother, say it, brother. Tough words, to be honest with you. I know you are a man of courage and you can say it, my friend. Denounce him. Your honor is in the stake. Your honor. Do you accept this? This is this is about honor. A person who but this is where I come from, do you know what I mean? Sorry? This is what I come from. No, no, you see, you, you, you did not choose where you are coming from. Nothing wrong with that. You see, I, me, and you we did not choose, but when we grow. Yeah, but God, I can't say to you, I can't say to you them words and then then go to my community and pretend that I never said this. We'll say it. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, you, you want to go to the community, you say to them, you want to be a hypocrite? I don't want to be a hypocrite either. So? You are worried about your community, but you are not worried about mm -hmm. your honor. You want to you wanna, you wanna fool yourself, say this. So you are saying to me, okay, I, 
He's talking about honor. He's talking about honor. He's talking about hypocrisy. And who is the hypocrite? Who is the hypocrite? Who is While the hypocrite? Lying, who is the munafiq, ya Abdul? He's talking to and calling. He is helping him. He's helping him because no normal person, no normal person in 2019, 2020. Guys, it's almost 2020. How can you stay in this filth called Islam? No normal human being should believe that there's something called Jannah, a brothel, you will have eternal erection with at least, at least 72 big breasted melon with melon breast look alike with their bones to be seen right they are so white you will see their bones you see the marrow of their bones what kind of human being must still believes in this what about the women you muslim ladies you Muslim ladies, how can you accept, where's your honor that you're going to be nothing but a sex doll? Yes, you are a sex doll, right? You're a sex doll for the men. Where are, where's the honor of the ladies, man? You ladies in 2020, do you have any shame? Do you have any honor? Are you going to accept that you're, that you're going to be a sex doll in the Islamic brothel called Jannah of Allah? Who, who, who has no shame? You are the one who has no shame, Mr. Farid. Donkey. It's crazy. 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 Muhammad is a false prophet. Uh, Obviously, this is devilish. Cannot be from God. Exactly. But because I have a community and I have to make them happy with me, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. But that means I... Someone is asking, uh, have you not li been listening, Johan? Johan, many. What happens to their ladies in heaven? Johan, the Muslim ladies in Jannah, in the brothel of Allah, the sex brothel of Allah, they're going to become big breasted bimbos. They will all look the same, big breast, beautiful eyes, beautiful faces, young women. Even if you are 90 years old, you die like a 90 years old, you'll go and be a really young girl in Islamic Jannah with huge melons. You're going to become a sex doll, a Barbie, for the men to enjoy your private parts. That's what you're going to be. Okay? I accept with my respect. Take notes. Be hypocrite. Hypocrisy, hypocrisy is to say to people, not what I believe, is not what they think is right for me. Exactly. Men. Correct? Yeah. So now you believe that Muhammad is not a prophet, but yet you want to say to them, Muhammad is a prophet, just because... You don't want to make them make them sad, but but that you know you will respect respect yourself. It's up to you, you know. So denounce Muhammad, say be a man, and I'm sure you are the man. Denounce him and say Muhammad can't be a prophet. There is no way I'm going to follow such a man. Okay, uh, Muhammad cannot be a prophet. I accept that. Yeah. I mean to that. Wonderful. I'm Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Another guy saved from this cult, right? This guy is really actually, he has honor, he has dignity. This gentleman who just left Islam, he has honor, he has dignity. And later you'll see him accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. So you Farid, you are nothing but a coward, you are a munafiq, son of munafiq. You will never ever call me, oh Christian Prince. And the only excuse is, I'm going to keep making videos about Christian Prince, Allah using taqiyya. No shame, no dignity, no honor for you, right? I mean, guys, you, you are the witnesses, right, guys? Someone keep asking us, guys, please make response videos about this Farid, this Amin. Guys, we have made tons of videos about them. Have you not seen my live shows about them? But, you know, it's not fun. It's not fun. I don't enjoy it to keep spanking the same guy over and over. Bring us new meat. These are kids, man. They are cowards. These are cowards. You are a Jaban, Ya Farid. I know you're listening. You're a Jaban, Ibn Jaban. That's what you are. Where did you, where did Christian Prince lie, guy? Have you seen? Guys, honest to God, you were witnesses together with me. Did you see Christian Prince lie in any way, shape, or form? Uh, yes, Ace. He's an Arabic speaker, I believe. Don't you see where's. As a proud Arab, he wears Arab clothing. 
Have you seen Christian Prayer's line? No. He was quoting hadith as it was. Right? No lie. Where did, where did, where did Christian Prayer's line? It, the hadith is weak, brother. Brother, the hadith is weak. This is the hadith, guys. Do you see it? This is from the authentic books. Six books. Do you see it? Authentic books. Do you see it? Right? And we showed you one, two, three, four, five, six. This is Sunan Ibn Majah, which is one of the six. Do you see it? And this is Sunan Ibn Majah. Do you see it? Sunan Ibn Majah is one of the six. So this hadith is past. It's good hadith. Yes, it's da'if. It's weak. But it's past. It's accepted. It's not rejected. You see how they are going to use all kind of mental gymnastics to deceive their own audience. Yeah, the top of six books, exactly, immediately after the Quran. The best ones are Sahih Bukhari, then Sahih Muslim, and the rest. Right? They, what, they, what they find is embarrassing. This is embarrassing hadith, right guys? Of course this is embarrassing. So they are going to say to their audience, deceive their audience, this is weak hadith, we, we don't accept it. Abdul, who are you? Who are you to accept hadith or not? Are you a scholar, Ferry? No, you're not. Guys, let me play a video for you. Pay attention, guys. I'm going to play a video from a very respected scholar. Let's see if weak hadith is rejected or not. Okay? Does it sound fair, guys? Does it sound fair? Does it sound fair to... Be a witness of a scholar who is going to say if hadith is rejected, weak hadith is rejected or not. Let us see, guys. Now, put your headsets back on. Let us play the video. This is Sheikh, scholar, Sheikh. His name is Hamza Yusuf. I'm going to give you the link. I'm going to give you the link. You can go watch it later yourself, but let us play the video. Play the video and be my witness. Let us play the video. Each time. So the first Yasin, because Yasin, Yasin, you get. And it's, these are weak hadiths, but, uh, you know, I did something called the. Uh, the uh, Focus, guys. Content of Character, which is a small book on prophetic invocation, uh, prophetic uh, akhlaq, hadith from the Prophet. And there were some weak hadiths. It was, it was a collection by Ali Mazrui's father, Amin al Mazrui. And I like the collection, so I translate it. And, uh, and to be trustworthy, I, all the hadiths that he put in, I put in there. And some of them were weak. But there, there's, there's an attack on weak hadiths in our time. Weak, weak, a weak hadith is, is anywhere from a B minus to a D minus. All right? A Hassan hadith is, is a B to an A minus. And then a Sahih Hadith, I'm just using so a language you can understand. An A minus is like a, 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 a Sahih Hadith is from an A to an A plus, to 100%. Mutawatir is 100%. Al-Bukhari is like 98%, 99%. Muslim and Bukhari, 99%. Uh, Sahih Muslim, 97%. So the, the, uh, a weak Hadith is not thrown out. Did you catch it, guys? What did he say? It's not thrown out. It's not rejected. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. It passed. Did you catch it? What did, what did this donkey Farid said? What did he say? It, we rejected. A donkey? Who are you, man? Who are you to lie to your audience? Do you know better than the scholars? Did you, did you hear what he said? Let me go back a little bit paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. What was it? What did happen? What did happen? And so when the ulama say it's a we passed. What? And so when it's a D minus, it didn't flunk. It passed. What did to it? throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. It passed. Did you catch it? Yeah, Farid. 
You have no shame. You have no honor and you have no dignity. Especially, especially because you are talking, you are talking about a hadith from the six, right? From the authentic six books, right? This is Sunan Abi Majah. And you dare to lie. You staqiyya with us. This is Sunan Ibn Majah. Do you see it? It passed. You heard the gentleman, right? At least a honest, finally an honest sheikh, PhD sheikh, who is honest, right? You see how these people, you see how, how these people have no shame, have no dignity, have no honor. Of course, they are going to use taqiyya when they attack Christians, like Christian prince, like me. Do you see why I don't want to waste any more time on these kids? So you Christians, guys, I'm talking to the Christians. Pay attention. Give me a one. Give me a one. If you call yourself a Christian, stop talking about these kids. Stop giving them a footstool, footstool to stand on. These are liars, man. Don't give them any attention anymore. If this guy calls himself a man, let him call us. Let him call Christian Prince or let him call me. Stop giving them attention. Don't help them. It's because of you. You Christians, you are really not helping sometimes. You are not helping. I've seen many Christians, to be honest with you guys, I've seen many Christians. When Christian Prince is doing a live show, uh, and Christian Prince is in, is in the middle of his teaching, Christians in the live chat, Christian Prince, have you seen the latest video about uh, about you from Farid? I mean, guys, really? Really? Come on, man, be smarter than this. I mean, the, the proof is in front of you. We showed you what kind of taqiyya people did. These people have no shame. The only thing they can do because they are bankrupt, they are going to use taqiyya. Stop giving them attention. Stop putting them on a footstool. Why are you giving these kids, these silly cowards any attention don't go to their videos man because it's so easy to spank them man yeah these kids exactly peter correct these are kids so treat them as such don't give them attention man so stop stop causing division guys when christian prince when sam shamon when when rob christian when we are teaching Guys, stay focused. Don't give them attention. Don't put them on a footstool. Because Muslims, because they are bankrupt, they are trying to cause division. I mean, you saw the Christ uh, the Muslims when they came, right? Have you? Uh, why, why are you uh, not talking about Sam Shamoun? Remember? This is what the only thing they can do now. In 2019, 2020, the only thing they can do is try to cause division among us Christians, because they are nothing but agents of Satan, right? Guys, be smarter. I love you. You are my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Be smarter than that. I know you are smarter than that. Take this with you. This is my love to you. Accept my love to you. This is my advice to you. Don't let them come between us. Right? Yeah, the, the devil exactly and his agents, the Muslims, the Muhammadans can only cause division. That's it. Because they are bankrupt and they are followers of a bankrupt man-made cult, the only thing is... The only thing is to cause havoc. Guys, I wanted to share something with you. A couple of things. A couple of privileges for Muhammad. And only Muhammad. Guys, the Messenger of Allah, the Messenger of Allah, if we go to Ibn Kathir in his Qisas al Anbiya, you can find this in Dar al Kutub. Many, many sources. It said, the Messenger of Allah said, Allah married me in paradise to marry the mother of Jesus. What a huge insult, man. You see, this evil agent of Satan. The fake prophet of Islam insulting Mary that he will have her, right? Have her as wife in Jannah. 
you see this nasty guy and they dare to call him a man of God. Yeah, Mary, the mother of Jesus. This is a big insult, man. Wow. Not only that, he will also have a married wife, the married wife of Pharaoh, Asia, Asia, right? They call her Asia. The wife of Pharaoh, she's married, man. Why do you want to have a married wife of, of a guy? You see who the shameful guy is. Muhammad had no shame. He wanted to have married women in paradise. Married women of other men, take them as his wives. Asia, yeah, exactly. Do you see it? Who has no shame? Who has no shame, Muslims? Your prophet has no shame. And because you're followers of Muhammad, you are a Muhammadan, you truly have no shame. Married women, your prophet wants to have married women. Brother, this is weak, brother. No, brother, this is Tafsir of Ibn Kathir, Qisas al -Anbiya. This is his book, Qisas al -Anbiya. Don't say is weak. Brother? Brother, this is Ibn Kathir, brother. Yes, brother. See it? So, guys, we prove to you today. We prove to you today that weak hadith, especially if it's from the six authentic book of collections, like Sunan Abi Majah, like Sahih Bukhari, like Sahih Muslim, and so on and so on, even if they are daif, they are still accepted, not rejected. Accepted. So, you see the hypocrisy in Islam. You see the taqiyya 101 in Islam, deception 101, right? And only Muhammad, Islam is created for Muhammad and only for Muhammad for his own sexual desires, right? This is tafsir of chapter 33, ayah 50 of the Quran. What, Rob Christian? Tafsir of chapter 33, ayah 50 of the Quran. Muhammad had many privileges that other men did not have. Yes, brother. And one of them, if Muhammad, one of the of the 16, I think it's 16, yeah. Sita Ashar privileges, according to this tafsir. The number 10 privileges, if Muhammad lay his eyes on a married woman, if he sees a married woman, her husband, So if, if Muhammad looks at your married woman, your Muslim woman, you as a Muslim man have to divorce her, and give her to Muhammad so he can F her. Nikahuha, nikah, right? Immediately F her. No marriage, no nothing. Just, right? The big screen TV goes to Muhammad. You get the small TV, right? And so on, and so on. Muhammad gets the best women. I mean, if, if on this planet he get, get the best women, right? The best of the war booty. What do you think about the best women like Mary, like Asia, right? Of course, Muhammad will get the best of the best in Jannah, sexual, sexual brothel called Jannah, right? The orgy heaven of Allah. Of course, he's going to get there also the best women. If he can have married women, even married women in Islam, what about Mary? What about the wife of Pharaoh? Pharaoh, right? But brother, King David, brother, King David and Solomon did that same thing, brother. But brother, they repented. God punished them. Severely, and they repented and they were forgiven because God is forgiving, merciful God. They first they got punished by God. God did not say, like Allah, your Satan Allah, 
He didn't say, go ahead, Muhammad, F who you want, even if, if they are married women, F them. Take them from their husbands. No, no. This is a huge insult for God, Muslims. Our living God will never ever allow such filth in his presence. He will punish you for your crimes. And if you decide to repent from the heart, God is merciful enough to forgive you, right? God is so merciful that he sent his only son into the world to save us, us sinners. You see how loving God is? But Allah, i.e. Satan in disguise, right? Allah, the shapeshifter, Satan, will give you all kind of empty prophecies, eternal erections, F who you want. Even, you know, there's a picture in the market in, in Jannah. There is a market in Jannah. Yes, brother. Market, brother? Yes. You look at the picture and anything that you desire, you can enter it. So as a Muslim, if you want to have sex with Muhammad in Jannah, it's okay, brother. Allah will grant your wish, brother. Even with the Prophet of Islam, brother? Yes, brother. Even with the mother of Muhammad, brother? Yes, brother. Go ahead, brother. Start effing, brother. You call this a religion of God, Muslims? You dare to call this a religion of God? Or is this the religion of the penis of Muhammad? The religion of the penis of Muhammad. That's what it is. Playboy magazine, yeah. Hello, Lambok. Welcome. Do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call us live? Brother, hadith is weak, brother. Someone called me? Let me call him back. I missed the call. I didn't see it, actually. Let's see if this guy is picking up. Good Abdul. His name is Good Abdul. Hmm. Pick up, brother. Hmm. Not unfailable at this moment. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any Muslim? My Skype ID is Dirab Christian. Call me right here, right now. Dean is Shaitan. Exactly, Tony. This is the religion of Satan. Dean, guys, means religion. So this is a man-made sex cult of Satan. Created for the penis of Muhammad. This hadith is weak, brother. But it passed, brother. You heard the sheikh, right, guys? Weak hadith does not mean rejected, brother. But uh, Farid said it, brother. Your Farid is a liar, brother. Farid has no shame, has no dignity, and no honor. Ma andak sharaf, ya Farid. Anta ma andak sharaf. Ula karame. This is why you are rejecting, right? This is why you are rejecting hadith. Right, brother? Yeah, Farid is the Imam now. <laughs> brother? I'm a follower of Farid, brother. Why are you not doing a response video, brother? Because, you know, we don't really like to spank the same kid over and over and over. You know, it's a waste of time. Your heroes, Muslims, are nothing but cowards. They will never ever call us. But the hadith is weak, brother. No, the hadith can be weak. Yes, it's weak, but it's still accepted, not rejected. Accepted, not rejected. Especially if they are from the six authentic collection of books. Which one are those again? Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan al-Nisa'i, Sunan al-Bidaud, Jamia al-Tirmidhi, and Sunan al-Bimajah. 
Yes, brother. Where are the brave Muslims? You tell me, brother. I don't know, brother. Do we have any Christian who wants to call us? Maybe you want to share something with us, guys? Go ahead. The line is open. Also for the, our brothers in Christ, our sisters in Christ. I think this is my last day to, to do a live show in 2019. So if you want to share something about the last year, please call me. Go ahead. Feel free to call us, guys. You want to share something with us? Go ahead. The line is open for our brothers and sisters in Christ. If you are a Christian and you want to call, you can do it right here, right now. We give you the free pass to call us. You want to share something with us? Go ahead. Lombok is asking, RC, quote unquote, why they have hadith? Quran isn't enough for them? Just curious. Well, Muslims say, right, they say that through the hadith, through the sunnah of Muhammad, the teaching of Muhammad. What happened? What, is, what happened to my live stream? Guys, are you still with me? 2020. Maybe you want to share something amazing with us. Maybe you want to uh, share your opinion uh, or your point of view about today's live show about this Farid. Uh, go ahead guys don't 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 be ashamed don't be shy no one no one is going to bite <laughs> yeah okay uh, world changer go ahead bro feel free to call me my skype id is the rob christian without separation so guys if you have troubles with the with the live stream just refresh okay maybe it was uh you know satan who was who was trying his best to shut us down who knows you know. God bless you too, Kelvin. God bless you and your family. Happy 2020. A healthy 2020 to every one of you. All right, the fisherman. God bless you. Lord willing, we will see each other in 2020 again. Enjoy the celebration for the new year guys be with your families god bless you Carrie Ann. you're an amazing sister happy new year to you we will see each other next year again do we have uh, anyone who wants to call do you have any muslim do we have any Christian? Nice to hear you too. Nice to see you too, the bottle, Susro. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. God bless you too, my friend. We lo I love you too, Phoebe. Phoebe, anymore. We love you too. I love you too. Um, guys, pray for our dear friends who are true truth seekers like Andrew Martin. Pray for him. He is a dear friend of ours. He always come and support us. Pray for him that he one day he might accept Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Pray for our friends who are seekers of the truth. Pray for the apostate prophet. Maybe they will accept our Lord and Savior as their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pray for them. Keep everybody in your prayers. Keep us, the warriors, in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers, guys. I really need your prayers. Don't forget to download our videos. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Destroy that like button. And click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live. Again, Lord willing. Pray for Sonia. Yeah, we had a wonderful conversation yesterday with her. Amazing sister. I really enjoyed her testimony, right? She was a Muslim. A couple of years ago, she accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior. Very smart and humble lady. Keep all the warriors, guys, in your prayers. We need your prayers. 
the power of praise are huge guys right Amen. This destroyer, my friend, I really hope that you will think next year. I know you're a Muslim. I, I know you don't know Arabic. You are a victim of this Arabic man-made cult. I pray for you that you will leave Islam. Leave the penis cult of Muhammad. The penis cult for Mah of Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad and his penis cult. Right? Islam. Leave that cult. I really, do you really believe that you will have uh, a, a huge sword between your legs in the Islamic brothel? When you die, you go and you have a sword between your legs. You're going to cross swords with other men in the Islamic brothel called Jannah. No, no, no. Don't pray for me to accept Islam. I don't want to have an eternal erection, a penis like you. Warrior of Allah. <laughs> A sword between my, my legs for the sake of Allah. <laughs> right. Right, Abdul. Yeah, I'm lost. We are lost because we don't have eternal erections in the brothel of Allah. Right? Right. Inkahuman taba lakum. Right? Enjoy them. With your eternal erections. With, the, you know, enjoy the watermelons, brother. You love watermelon? If you, Guys, if you truly love watermelons, you should actually say the Shahada and become a Muhammadan. If you truly love watermelons, you should take the Shahada. Slayda MC saying, Rob Christian, Muslims need the hadith and the seerah to understand this nonsense, Quran, by including Muhammad's life story in it. Exactly. Otherwise, they are most lost than they are already now. Yes, exactly, Slayda MC. For example, where, where can we find the Shahada? Not in the Quran. Where can we find the five prayers? Not in the Quran. So you have to go to outside sources like the Sunnah, like the hadith. To understand actually Islam, to understand how do you, how you must pray, which they call you know they, it's cursing. They call it praying, but it's cursing Jews and Christians at least seventy times a day. Seventeen times a day they curse Jews and Christians left and right. Laanat Allah on the Jews and the Christians, right? Laanat Allah ala al Yahud wal Masihin, right? May Allah's curses be upon the Jews and the Christians. Right? That's, that's, that's why, how you pray, Muslims. You repeat the curses of Allah in your prayers. And you call that, you dare to call that praying. When we Christians pray, we ask God to forgive our enemies. God, please forgive them. Right? If you like to be forgiven by God, you need to learn to forgive first. Not ask for hate or cursing mankind. You see how Allah is Satan, guys? You see how Allah is Satan in disguise. No, you don't do the same, the destroyer. You curse Jews and Christians, you liar. Chapter 1, Ayah 7. Let me go to the Quran to prove it to you. Chapter 1, Ayah 7. You repeat the curses of Allah. The path, the proof is in front of you, of those upon whom you have bestowed favor. Those are the Muslims. Right? Those are the Muslims. Not of those who have invoked your anger. Those are the Jews. لَعَنَتَ Allah ala al yahud Right? Muslims. Or those who are astray. Those are the Christians. Right? Do you see the curses of Allah? Thank you, Phil, for your donation. God bless you, my friend. God bless your families. Amin. Amin, ya akhi. Amin. Sana Jadida, yeah. Bismar Rab, Amin Ya Rab, Amin. Amen to that, my friend. Happy and healthy 2020 to you, to your family. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your support. World changer, you're trying to call me? My Skype is open, my friend. 
Oh, why is it not working? What's going on? Something is going on. Let me close my Skype for a second, guys. Let me close my Skype. I'm not sure what's going on. Satan is against us, guys. Satan is against us. Not sure why the calls are not going through. Hmm. Let me call you back, world changer. Okay, let me call you back. Satan doesn't like us to teach, guys. I'm calling you, my friend. World changer. Well, my settings are fine. I'm not sure what's going on. And it says I'm I'm live. World is not available. Hmm. What's happening? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's now it's working. Now it's working. Pick up my friend. Okay. Hey. Hey, hello, World Changer. Shalom, bro. Hey, how are you, my friend? God bless. God bless you. God bless you. Nice talking to you. Yeah, to you too. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Merry Christmas. Merry blessed Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate your call. I appreciate your nice and kind words. God bless you. God bless your family and a happy, healthy 2020 Amen. for you too. Thank amen, you. amen. We are also praying for you and we are praying for the ministry you are doing. Thank you so and much. And all of you guys, you and CB. Thank you. You guys are the warriors for this end time God is using. Thank you. Yeah, if, if God's plan was us to teach, guys, we always say, we, you don't need us. You don't need us. You only need Jesus. But if it's the plan of God for us to teach and use the Arabic language to expose this man-made sex mm. cult of muhammad then so be it right thank you so much sister yeah uh, thank you okay you okay, wanna, okay. You wanna, so you, i just wanted to... yeah you want to share something huh? with uh, with our friends in the live chat yeah yeah i just want to uh just wish them a merry christmas and happy new year also i want to appreciate phil horaira <laughs> uh, yeah for the work he's doing yeah <laughs> amazing brother always it's posting really links yeah. and not only uh yes. phil horaira, but all the admins all the admins who are doing amazing the other job. admins yeah. as well yeah Amen. yes yes and other sis brothers and sisters there please happy new year and god bless you and wish you um a glorious 2020 amen amen stay safe stay healthy everybody okay 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 brother thank you god god bless you yeah thank bye. you for calling god bless you sister bye bye thank you so much i appreciate your call you see guys uh what is better what is better than love sharing your love even with the Muslims. Guys, we are not, I'm not doing this to become famous. Honest to God. Honest to God. I'm not doing this for myself. You know, I really, I really, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, you guys. I really, really was hesitating, right? To do live shows. It was, it's not easy, right? Put yourself in our shoes. Because you know you will get a lot of death threats. You'll put many hours in this, right guys? I have, I'm putting personal private hours my own hours in live shows in videos right it really takes a lot of energy from you right uh, you are not with your loved ones you you know i i'm de de dedicating a part of my life to talk about the truth to expose this man-made cult i'm not doing this for myself guys if, the, if this is, was for myself I would be uh, maybe uh, doing a business uh, somewhere, uh, setting up a company or whatnot, right? But, you know, I had to do this because there are not many of us, right, who are doing this kind of work. There are not many Arabic-speaking Christians who are teaching in the English section. I know many Christians who are doing this in the Arabic 
section of YouTube, but not many Arabic speakers uh, can do what we do. Maybe they are afraid. I don't know. I know. I, I, I can't speak for for the other Arabic speaking Christians. I can't speak for them, but I can only speak for myself. Right. So if this is the plan of God, then so be it. Right. So be it. As long as I can, I will try to keep doing that. Guys, as you know, I'm going to become a father in 2020. Lord willing, pray for me. Pray for my wife, guys, that she is going to be and stay healthy, a healthy pregnancy. So it's going to be a busy year for me, but it's going to be a blessed busy year. Thank you for the donation, Slater MC. God bless you, my friend. God bless your families. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for your support. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Christian princess. So it's it's a, it's going to be amazing, Lord willing. But still, um, if I have the time, if the Lord allows us to do, still keep making videos like this, do live shows, I will try to continue do that. It's going to be many sleepless hours. <laughs> But God is good and he will provide, right? You know how it is with a baby in the family. Really, you know, I'm really happy, right? God is good. He didn't forget about us. And my wife is healthy. She is pregnant. So amazing, amazing Christmas present for us, for the whole family. I really hope that Lord will provide for the people who are in need, right? Poor people, pray for the poor people. Pray for the people who really want to have a baby. Pray for the people in need, guys. Keep them in your prayers, right? Be healthy, stay safe. Is there anyone else who wants to call us, guys? Yes, you can call me. Uh, let me call you back, uh, Hake. Let me call you. you. I saw that you called me. Let me call you back. Hake, Yomi. Hello. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Oh, how are you? I am good. You're an ex-Muslim, right, my friend? Yes, yes. Welcome, welcome to the live show. You're live on air, my friend. Ah, uh, I know, I know. I saw that I was in the chat. Ah, great. What do you want to share with us, my friend? Go ahead. Everybody yeah. can hear you. What do you want to yeah, share with the with the with the people in the live chat? They are listening. People, uh, I was an atheist for thirty years. Uh, I left Islam when I was 15 years old. Wow, okay. Why? Because of, I couldn't find a wisdom, love in Quran when I was just 15 years old. Wow. There's, there's one thing made me left Islam. I read Quran as simple as that. And I'm telling every Muslim, people, read the Quran to know Islam, study it, not just listen to the Imams, Hajjahs, Mullahs, etc. Exactly, exactly, my friend. And I, when I began uh, the last year, this year, uh, began to study the Holy Bible, I see lots of differences, or I mean, everything was different than Quran. And I'm telling you, Muslims, ex-Muslims, study the Holy Bible too. Things are very, very different. Quran is teaching you different and uh, false things, giving you false mentalities. Prophethood, God, it's not same with Quran. In exactly. Quran, everything is different. Exactly. No, pro prophets are not rich, dirt rich. They don't have 14 wives or so many slaves. This is not prophethood. 
This is not God. God loves. God doesn't hate. Amen. My friend, I have a question, a personal question. Did you accept yes. Jesus as your Lord and Savior, my friend? Yes, my friend. Wow, yes. hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. I, I'm thankful uh, for Christ uh, to you, Christian Prince, Sam Shamun, David Wood. Thank you, when my I, friend. I when I'm studying it. Islam, to talk against Islam, I began to discover, oh, Christianity is way different than I knew before. This is why I began to read Holy Bible. Yeah. And then I see, no, belief is very different thing. It's not about hate. It's not about hell. Exactly. It's not about punishment or worship a God without heart, without questioning, judging things. You can judge the Holy Bible and you can see beautiful answers, true and beautiful answers. Read Muslims, read. Yeah. Don't be like your prophet. Exactly. My friend, yeah. knowledge, knowledge is key. Exactly. When you have the knowledge, knowledge is power, right? Muslims actually, exactly Muslims don't read. They only recite the Quran. I mean, even a kid can recite, recite. But does a kid understand the Quran? No. I mean, they learn to recite the Quran from when they are young. But they only memorize without understanding, without any knowledge, right? So you are a perfect example of, for all the Muslims, my friend. Muslims, you need to read and understand. Read. Like we read, we read the Quran and the Hadith every day and we see the devastating disasters, the many contradictions, the hate, the cursing. This cannot be from God. No way, no way. You want to say something else, my friend? Go ahead. My friends, Happy New Year to all humanity. Amen. And my may friend. God touch your hearts. Amen. And may Messiah came into your life. Let Messiah talk to you. Let Messiah touch you. This will change your life, your soul, your character, who you are. Everything will change. This is what I lived. This is what I experienced because I'm telling you people, Christ is really Lord. Amen. Christ can touch you. In Islam, you cannot have a personal relationship with Allah. Exactly. But you exactly. can have a personal relationship with true God. Yeah. He really hears you. He you, really touch into your life, to your soul. This is what I have to say. This is what I want to say, what I want to share, Tom Rock. Thanks for the opportunity, my friend. No problem, my friend. It's my pleasure. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you for your kind words and wisdom. And the Muslims, you just heard from a truthful, a truth seeker, like this wonderful person here that you are listening to. He was an ex, he was a Muslim. He became an ex Muslim and he accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Hallelujah, my friend. Thank you for your amazing call. God bless you and a happy and healthy 2020. Thank you Thank for calling. You. May I say yeah. one last thing? One sure, last sure, go ahead. Muslims, before I accepted Christ, I was hating you all. Wow. I was hating all the Muslims. But after Christ touched me and came into my life, Muslims, I began to love you too. Mm -hmm. And I pray for your salvation almost every day. Amen. Come to Christ, my friends. Amen. And don't hate. You don't have to hate. Just share love and feel the love of true God. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for calling. God bless you, my friend. God bless you too. God bless all the world and humanity, my friend. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless. See you. Thanks. Bye bye. See you. Wow. How is this not touching, right, guys? I mean, do you see how a man can change, guys? He was a hateful person. He was a cursing person. He was cursing people left and right, hating people left and right. When he left Islam, he found the truth about this man-made cult. 
and he started to read the Bible, he was a completely changed person because Christ touched him, right? He touched his heart and he became a totally different person. 180 degrees from a hateful, hate-mongering person to a loving, truthful, loving person, peaceful person. You see, guys, why we always say we truly have hope for everybody. This is why we don't like, you know, to hate anybody. Everybody, uh, we have hope for everybody. You know, uh, many people were cursing us left and right. And they actually came back and started to thank us for what we are, are doing. And we are not doing this for ourselves. We are doing this for the people, right? God did it for his own people. God came into the world to save mankind because he did it out of love. But Muhammad, 600 years later, he contradicted all the teaching of the Holy Bible. He contradicted all the commandments. And he created the penis cult, the sex cult. Muhammad, Aisha said, I see that your Lord hastens to fulfill your sexual desires, Muhammad. She knew. I mean, go ahead. Uh, okay, I think I think uh, you need to refresh, guys. Refresh. Yeah, something is not going okay on YouTube. Refresh. Can you hear me, guy? Okay, it's back. Okay. Satan, man. Satan doesn't like us. Doesn't like our teaching today. So refresh. Make sure to refresh. Anyone else? Anyone else who wants to call us, guys? Um, scammers 7 Salam al Masih, Salam wa Ni'ma ilak akhoi. God bless you. Be healthy in the name of our Lord and Savior in 2020. Thank you for your kind words. Salam wa Ni'ma. Lakil Masih, Ya Rab, Baliyom. Peace of Christ to all of you in this blessed day. It's an honor to hear ex-Muslims who accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. It's truly a blessing in one of the last days of 2019 to hear a voice like Sister Sonia yesterday, like uh, our sister uh, Hafza Idasi, like this brother who just called us. Thank you, Habibi. Salam wa ni'mah. I'm Amr261. Jesus is a prophet, you dog. I mean, uh, what's wrong with you, man? Why are you calling me names, man? Call me, Abdul. Call me, call me. I mean, talking text, insulting is, in text is cheap. Call me. Let's see who the dog is. Call me and let us have a nice, respectful discussion. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Habibi, yeah, exactly. You are abusing our prophet? We are abusing your prophet? Uh, you mean Muhammad? Well, you, Muhammad, got, Muhammad was raped by his own cousin. Muhammad had sexual, homosexual adventures with the Sahaba. It's in your sources. So when we read your sources, that means we are the ones who are abusing your prophet? Uh, my friend, the moment Muhammad opened his mouth in the Hadith, and in the Quran, he is the one who is cursing himself. He's the one who is calling himself names. Right? So when we read your sources, we are the ones who are abusing your prophet. That makes sense. So call me and tell me where, where I'm lying. Tell me. Call me. Be a brave Muslim. Call me. And let's see who is the evil son of Satan. Let's see who's the agent of Satan, you or me? Oh, Kika left Islam too. Oh, that's amazing news. Uh, is it a she or a he, Daniel? She became, he or she became a Christian? So he or she left Islam and became a Christian. That's wonderful, man. 
Yeah, Phil Herrera, the admin, just shared a link. You can go ahead and go through the sources and you'll see that Muhammad was actually a bisexual fake prophet. Uh, Amr, we already did. We just did a couple minutes ago, man. I dare you watch Farid response to your friend AP. I already did and my YouTube channel is full of it. Abdu, what's wrong with you? Have you live have you been living under a stone? Or what? My YouTube channel is full of it. Let me show you my YouTube channel. Oh. Do you see my this is my YouTube channel? Look. Here is Farid, here is Amin, Amin. Muhammad Hijab, Muhammad Hijab, Adnan Rashid, Amin. Ali Dawa, Ahmed Didat, Amin, Farid, Farid, Muhammad Hijab, Shushu. You see it? You see how many response videos we make about your so called heroes? Uh, you should uh, remove yourself under the stone that you were living under and go watch our response videos. And re watch today's live show too. Because we did a response video about this Farid Abdul today. You are simply too late. You can rewatch it later and see how we spanked your boyfriend Farid. We spanked him left and right today. And since he's a coward, he will never ever call us. Cowards are not, he's not a man, he's a boy. You boy! He will never ever call us. Right? I mean, everybody can make response videos, all right, Muslims. So, Amr, remove yourself from that black stone that you love to kiss. Remove yourself from under it and go watch our videos again. Oh, you want to you wanna change topic now? You know what's not mentioned in the Bible? Trinity. Really? Are you sure, Abdul? Are you sure? When did you read the Bible to know that there is nothing called Trinity in it? Can you show me Tawheed in the Quran? Can you show me the word Tawheed in the Quran, Abdul? If you can show me the word Tawheed in the Quran, I will show you Trinity. Fair deal? I will, I will make a nice deal with you. You show me the word Tawheed in the Quran, I will show you the word Trinity in the Quran. Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Ikhlas, okay guys, he's saying that the word Tawheed is in Surah Al-Ikhlas, okay, let's see. This is Surah Al-Ikhlas, chapter 112, Surah Al-Ikhlas, do you see it? Where is the word Tawheed in it? Can you show me the word Tawheed? It has only four ayahs, where is the word Tawheed? Show me. Where is the word Tawheed? I will give you a thousand dollar if you can show me the word Tawheed in this chapter. Show me the word Tawheed, yalla. Where is it? Where is it? Read them coward. Where is the word Tawheed? Where? In, in the first ayah, in the second ayah? Maybe the third or the fourth ayah. Where, where can I find the word Tawheed? Where is the word Tawheed? This is a challenge to you. Show me the word Tawheed. Yalla. Yalla ya Jaban ibn Jaban. Yalla. Coward. Show me the word Tawheed. Where can I find it? Look how he's going to tap dance, guys. Watch how he's going to do the moonwalk like Michael Jackson. Can you do, can you open, uh, can you call me and open up the cam, your cam, webcam, and start doing the moonwalk like M Michael Jackson? See, he's now silent. Fi sabil Allah. Show me where the word Tawheed is, Abdul. This is this was the challenge. I challenge you. If you can show me the word Tawheed, I'm going to show you the word Trinity in the Bible. Fair challenge, right? I'm still waiting. Come on. Keep tapping.
tap dancing, Abdul. Keep tap dancing. Can you do the moonwalk for me? Can you do the monkey dance for me? Ah, so you can't show me. Okay, then sit down. Be a nice little boy. A munafiq mushrik boy. Like your munafiq mushrik prophet. Sit down. And be a nice little pagan boy. Like your pagan prophet who gave the satanic verses to Allah al Uzza wal Manat. Thilka al Gharani al Ula inna shafatahunna la turtaja. These are the mighty cranes. Their intercession is hoped for. Guys, you know where the satanic verses used to be? Let me show you. Surah Al Najm. The satanic verses, guys, used to be between the ayahs 20. So after this ayah, here. But the Muslims removed them. Yeah, after 19 and 20, so here. Right, then the Muslims removed them. Here, after chapter 53, ayah 20, immediately here. Here. Those are the satanic verses that the devil himself gave to Muhammad and Muhammad gave them to the pagans of Quraysh, right? His own tribe, yes, his own family and own tribe. He gave them to them and he bowed down to Allah al Uzza wal Manad. He started to prostrate all the mushrikun, prostrated, act of shirk, right? Act of worship, shirk. Muhammad committed shirk, he became a nice mushrik boy. You boy, Muhammad, you mushrik. All the Muslims who were there bow down. Right? So, Amr, since you can't show me the word Tawheed, then sit down and be a nice mushrik boy like your prophet. Alright? You see? You see, guys, how, how the moment, the moment we give them a challenge, they start to tap dance. Surah Al-Ikhlas defines Tawheed where? Since you failed, guys, since he failed, since he failed to give us the word Tawheed, let us see where, where does it define Tawheed, where? Which, which verse? Which verse? Which ayah? Which ayah? Where does it, where is it defining Tawheed? Go ahead, tell me. The whole surah? No, no, no. Which part? قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ This one? Allahu Samad? لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُونُ لَهُ كُفْوًا أَحَدْ Where? Where, is it, where does it say Allah is one? Where? Here. No, this is false translation. It says قُلْ هُوَ He is Allah the one of. This is false translation. Ahad is not Wahad, Ya Abdul, son of Abdul. Wahad in Arabic is one, like one, you know, one, two, three, right? Wahad is one, right? Ahad, Abdul, son of Abdul, Ya Jaban ibn Jaban. Ahad means one of. Where is the one? This is false translation. We know when Muslims translate, they use lies, taqiyya. The ahad means one. Wahid means one. Where is the word wahid here? Go ahead, show me the word wahid. Where can I f find the word wahid? Yeah, what about the best of creators? Exactly, Chase and Palmer. Tabarakallahu, ahsan al khaliqeen. Right? The best of all creators. How many creators do you have in, Muslim, in Islam, guys? Many, right? Muslims. Can you tell me what Ahad al awlad means or Ahad al alihat Amr, Amr, since you claim that you know Arabic, can you tell me what Ahad al awlad means? Can you translate this for me? What does this mean? What does Ahad al awlad means, for example? You see the word Ahad, guys? What does it mean? One of the children. So, 
it, since it's the same word, what Ahad al Alihad is one of the many gods. Allah is one of the many gods. Right? I don't need to use Google, Abdul. I am an Arabic speaker. Right? I am an Arabic speaker. Ahad means one of. Like I just gave you an example. Clearly Allah failed to finish his sentence. Do you see it guys? Say Allah is one of. One of what Allah? What are you one of? What, are you one of the donkeys? Allah. Allah. Are you one of the donkeys? What are you? Allahu alam. Allah knows best. Allah did not finish. Right Muslims? You dare to use Google? Should we ask Prophet Google peace be upon him brother? There is no need Abdullah. I am an Arabic speaker and I just gave you an example. Allah should have said guys قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ وَاحِدْ قُلْ Say Allah is one. But Allah said Allah but Allah said Say he is one of. So if Allah was the so-called God of Islam we don't believe Allah is God, we believe Allah is Satan. He used mass confusion. Allah is the worst communicator ever in history. And he didn't finish his sentence. Instead of saying, Qul huwa Allahu wahid, he said, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. So where is your Tawheed? And what is the meaning of Tawheed, by the way, guys? It means unification. Tawheed is not... Oneness. Tawheed is unification. Tawheed means unification. Unifying Allah together with his wife, the son Akbar, with his three daughters, Allah al-Uzza wal Manat, with Isa al-Masih, right? Chapter 9, Ayah 31, with Muhammad, chapter 48, Ayah 9. Let me show you the Tawheed in Islam, Abdul. Let me show you the Tawheed. Abdul, son of Abdul. Abdul, pay attention. No, I don't need to translate. I'm an Arabic speaker donkey. I'm just translating and people here can confirm. We have Scammer7. Seven. Scammer7 seven is here. Abdul Halik is here. We have many Arabic speakers. Pay attention, Abdul. Let me show you the Tawheed right here, right now. Since you claim to be an Arabic speaker. Chapter 48, Surah Al-Fatih, Ayah 9. لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ وَتُسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةَ أَصِيلَ According to Arabic grammar rules, pay attention, Abdul. If you have any honesty in you, pay attention. According to this ayah, you have to believe in Allah and Muhammad. Okay. Then it continues. But wait, the last person mentioned, who is the last person mentioned? It's Muhammad, the Rasul. So according to basic Arabic grammar rules, you have to assist Muhammad in battle because he's the last person. I didn't invent those grammar rules. They already existed before Islam. You have to assist Muhammad in battle. You have to honor or respect Muhammad. And you have to glorify Muhammad because he's the last person every morning and evening. Do you see it? Tasbih, glorify. This is an act of worship. What is it, Rob Christian, brother? It's an act of worship. Uh, don't, don't write Arabic. No one can read Arabic ex except a couple of people. Stay with English, Abdul. Okay? Ana kaman min dawla arabiya ya ahmar ibn ahmar. Okay? You can play those games with me. So you have to do tasbih. Pay attention, Abdul. You have to do tasbih. To the Rasul every morning and evening. Bukratan wasila. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian Thompson. If you want to call me, my Skype ID is the Scammer 7. The Scammer 7. You're an Arabic speaker, right? Scammer 7. Can you confirm? Do, who do you have to do tasbih for? The Rasul. Because Muhammad is the last person according to Arabic grammar rules. According to Arabic grammar rules, you have to address all the words that come after the last person to the last person 
and the last person alone. You cannot play taqiyya with me, Abdul. I'm an Arabic speaker. Shame on you. No, it does not refer to Allah, you liar. You have no shame. Clearly, you need to go back to school like your Allah. You need to go back to school like your Allah. You clearly have no clue about Arabic grammar. You filthy liar. You have no shame, you have no dignity. You see how, how these people are liars, man? You see? You see these liars, man? Go back to school, man. Go learn Arabic like your Allah. Go back and learn Arabic like your Allah. Allah himself didn't know Arabic. Right? Muslims needed to fix the mistakes of Allah in the Quran with tashkil and tanqeed. Right, Muslims? Right? Like, here's an example, Abdul. Let me show you an example. Very, very easy example. In basically all the chapters of the Quran, you see Bismillah without an alif. But only chapter 69, ayah 52, as you see here in front of you, it's written like this, Be ism. If you claim that Allah is God, can Allah make such mistakes? Are you going to say both are correct now? No, 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 no. Allah cannot have a cake and eat it too. This is, this is God. Can God make mistakes? Maybe you should ask Allah to go back to school like you. Arabic grammar is built upon the... You filthy liar, no. Arabic existed before the Quran, you filthy liar. You have no shame, you have no dignity. Arabic existed before Islam. There was beautiful poetry, existed be beautiful poetry before Islam. How dare you, man? So Allah made a mistake in all the chapters, but in chapter Ayah 69, Ayah 52, he corrected himself. Look, chapter 69, Ayah 52, he wrote it with an Aleph. Do you see it? Aleph. Here's the Aleph. Do you see it? So which one is correct? Allahu A'lam. Right, Muslims? Allah needs to go back to school. And there are many, many examples like these. See, they became silent. Fi sabil Allah now. Why, why are you typing in Arabic, Abdul? No one can read it except me and a couple of other people. Write in Arabic. Why? Write in English so people can understand you. You liar, Bism has different meaning. Yeah, that's what I am exactly saying. Which one is correct? <laughs> Which one? What is the difference? This, this is the same word, you liar. In the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Do you see it? The name of your Lord. In the name of your Lord. Who are you lying to, man? Big boy? <laughs> Who are you lying to, man? Your taqiyya is not working. Maybe a name of a human also? Well, here this is talking about Allah. Uh-oh. So Allah is a human now. Allah is a human now. <laughs> yeah, Arabic in Quran is joke. Exactly. Arabic in the Quran is a joke. We should ask Allah to come back, to go back to school and learn Arabic again. Here's another example. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is a huge disaster. Look at this. What about this one? Which one is correct? Ni'mata, Allah's favor or grace. With a te maftuha or is it with a te marbuta? Which one is correct? Only one can be correct. This is the same word. This is grace or favor. Which one is correct? Allah. Allahu A'lam. Right? Both are in the Quran. 
Allah, make up your mind, man. If Allah would go take a, an Arabic exam or test, they would give Allah a big F. Allah would fail his Arabic exam. Right, Muslims? What about this one then? What about this one? One of the most basic words, the word night. Chapter 3, ayah 27 says, Alil. What? What is Alil, man? So they're trying to fix it with Tashkil. You see it? The things that you see on top and under. Last time we checked, the Quran of the 7th century that they claim is the Quran of uh, Uthman. Actually, the Quran of Uthman is lost. They claim that there was no Tanqid, no Tashkil. So if you, can, if you want to read it without Tanqid, Tashkil, it says Alil. What is Alil, man? Is that food? Can you eat that? What is that? Allahu A'lam. This is in chapter 3, ayah 27. If we go to chapter 2, ayah 187, it says Al-Layl. Is it Alil or is it Al-Layl? No, it's Al-Layl, not Alil. So they try to fix the Quran of Allah with Tashki. Do you see it? Alil, Al-Layl. You donkey. Why are you, why are you not asking Allah to go back to school and fix his grammar. Alil? What is Alil, man? Alil? What is Alil? Last time I checked, the correct way to write it is this. Al, Al, Layl. Here an L is missing. Do you see it? The L is missing. You see it? The scammer seven guys is, an, is an, a wonderful Arabic friend of ours. He is confirming. He's saying Naam. Yes, he is confirming it. Right? You see it? So we have two two Arabic speakers who uh, who are busting the balls of Allah. Poor Allah, man. He's getting he's getting spanked left to right by Arabic speaking Christians. Uh oh, uh oh, chapter 3, ayah 27. Let me show you that we are not lying, guys. Let me go there, okay? Quran.com, uh, chapter 3, ayah 27. Let me show you from the Quran itself. Do you see the word? It says here, let me make it smaller. Alil, Alil, do you see it? This is the word. Without an L, here an L is missing. It says Alil. Alil? What's that, man? But if we go, if we go to chapter 2, I 187, let's see what it says. Let me go to Surah Al Baqarah. Surah Al Baqarah, I 187, to show you that we are not lying. <clears throat> Let's see. I hope I got the right one. Here. This is the same word, right? Muslims claim that this is the same word. You see the L? Here's the L. Al-Layl. Here. No L. Do you see? Missing L. So this one says Alil. This one says Al-Layl. So it's, I only made, guys, I only made screenshots. Do you see it? Do you see it? Take a screenshot, guys. Use this. Make a snapshot with your phone or with your computer or whatever. Take a print screen. Take a screenshot. Use this. Let the program pronounce the, the word, coward. Well, Abdul. Abdul, son of Abdul. Without the vowels, what will happen? Last time we checked, last time we checked, the Uthmanic Quran did not have Tashkil or Tanqid. So it's on you because you Muslims started to correct the words of Allah with Tashkil. Was there Tashkil in the 6th and 7th century? No. So it's on you, Abdul. 
And even the word, is, you see, the letter is missing, man. Don't you see it? The letter is missing. I mean, you don't even have to be an Arabic speaker to see the disaster here. What about this one, Abdu? Ni'mata. Teemaftuha, teemarbuta. Which one is correct? This one is correct. So Allah made a huge mistake here. Uh oh. You stupid coward, don't know the shahada, it's in basic Arabic. <laughs> what a donkey. You're a donkey, Abdul. Sit down, sit down. We already get spanked more than enough. We gave you too much attention. Do we have any caller? Is there any caller who wants to call us? Guys, is there any caller who wants to call us? You can be a Christian, you can be a Muslim. Is there any one who wants to call before we wrap this up, guys? My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. D Rob Christian. You can call me live on air. Uh, Alukh Ali, you know when it happened? Tashkil and Tanqid was put in the Arabic text for the first time in the late 9th century. Let me type it again in the chat. Tashkil and Tanqid, dots and vowels, started to appear in the late, in the late, 9th century and the beginning of the 10th century. Okay, much too late. Do you understand, my friend? Much too late. Because the Quran was so called compiled by the command of Uthman when he commanded Zayd ibn Thabit to collect the Quran from bones, from animal skin, right? and rewrite it in the Qureshi dialect. This happened in the 7th century. But Muslims started to corrupt the Quran with their own hands in the late 9th century, right? In the late 9th century and the beginning of the 10th century. And here's the proof. Look guys, the Quran, the so-called Uthmanic Quran, used to look like this. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it? No dots, no tashkil. Um, I'm, I have missing calls. Someone is calling me. I'm not sure what's happening today with Skype, guys. Let me try to call this guy back. Skype is acting strange, guys. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Just a second, guys. Someone wanted to call me. Let me finish this and I will call you back, okay? So, this started to appear. The Tashkil, the Tanqid, do you see it? Started to appear in the late 9th and beginning of the 10th century. To even make it more crystal clear for you guys, here, is, here are some examples, as you see. The words used to look like this. Do you see it? In the 7th century. But 200 years after, they started to put dots, tanqid, dots, and vowels in the late 9th century, in the beginning of the 10th century. So, can you read this without tanqid and tashkil, without dots and tashkil? No, you can't. Do you see the disaster? One word can have many different meanings. If you put a dot here under, it comes a B. Two dots, it becomes a T. One dot on top, it becomes an N. Two dots here, it becomes an E. One dot, it becomes a B. So what? <laughs> you see, one word can have many different meanings. Many different words. Just because of the dots at Tashkil. 
Do you see it? Here is another example. Do you see it? Three dots. Two dots on top. Different word. It becomes a totally different word. Right? Try to read this without tashkil and dots. Go ahead. Can you read this, Alan? No, you can't. So, when Muslims started to put dots, they had to guess where the dots should be. Do you see it? Um, let me put the dot here. No, no, sorry. I, need, I wanted to, to put the dot here. Two dots, maybe. Maybe a dot here on top, it becomes an N. Two dots here, it becomes an E. Two dots on top, it becomes a T. One dot, it becomes an N. And so on, and so on. Let me call this guy back just a second, guys. Let me restart Skype. I'm not sure what's happening today with Skype. Uh, let me call this guy back. Let's see who this guy is. Okay, it's working. Finally. Pick up, please. Hello? Yeah, hello. Welcome, you're live on air. Hey, friend. Rob. Hello, welcome. How are you doing? I'm good, doing thank good? you. Yeah, thank you. How are you? Yes, yes, doing good. So, uh, tell us, I mean, teach us something about Islam. I, uh, what, what do you think I was doing for the last two and a half hours? Well, you know, you were trying to teach a new religion, which doesn't exist, you know. But, but you called it Islam, that's, that's correct, but uh, that's not a religion, you know, what it, you were calling Islam. What, what do you mean? Go ahead, so, so explain what, you, what your point is. Teach us the real Islam, Yanni. You know, we want to know what the real Islam is. Uh, I mean, you're the Muslim. You should teach me. Why do you think Muhammad is a prophet? Tell, tell me. Go ahead. Because he's the last messenger. Of who? All of mankind. Of who? Of uh, who's Allah? Can you tell me who Allah is? Well, hang on, hang on. We'll first finish Muhammad and then we'll go to Allah. Yeah, okay. You say he's the last messenger of Allah. Okay, tell me who Allah is. Go ahead. One second. Let me let me let me just get your screen online. Hang on. Okay. Go ahead. I'm waiting, man. All right. So one second. Teach us about the real Islam. Go ahead. No, you 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 are the expert. We wanna we wanna hear more from you. Especially. especially what do you what do you think I was doing for the last two and a half hours? What's wrong with you? Well, you are you are uh, creating a new religion. I'm creating a new religion. How? Can you yeah, be can you be more specific? Don't be a kid, I'm please. Don't waste my time. Tell me what where I was wrong. I'm I, I'm I'm talking for two and a half hours straight. Can you show me where I'm wrong? Since you are sure so you're claiming that I'm teaching about an earlier religion. Okay, let's let's begin with what your uh, topic is. The hadith is weak, brother. Yes. All right. Um, so you claim. That the uh, six books, which are the authentic books, yes. uh, should be should be all taken uh, with every with, with every hadith in it as authentic. Am no, I no, correct? no, no, no. I said, oh. I said, some yeah. some hadith are classed as daif, like classed as daif, like this one. Right. As you see, do you see the screen? Yes, I do. Okay, but does that does not mean that this hadith, because this is Sunan Ibn Majah, which is part of the authentic six books, right? Kitab al sitta right? Yes, what does authentic yeah. mean? Let's, let's, let's stick to that now. Let's, authentic let's not authentic okay. means sahih, right? It's, it's perfect hadith, right? Authentic, authentic means these are reliable collectors. Okay. We can rely on their collection. Okay. Does, their does, job, Sunan, does Sunan Ibn Majah, is he part of the six authentic collection of hadith? Is it called authentic, is, yes or no? Okay, let's let let us define authentic. Authentic. What is it called? What is it called? The authentic suk. Kitab al sitta right? Sa yes. Siha al sitta What does that no, mean? Explain. No, 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 not siha, oh. not siha. It's kutub sitta How did you make it siha From where did you get this? It's in front of you. Do you see it? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't see it. One second. Let me refresh my screen. Hang on, because I think I'm using my neighbor's internet. I, I just want to make sure I use mine. One second. Uh, okay, go ahead. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, where are you getting this from? This is Kutub Asitta. They are sometimes referred as Siha Asitta. Where are you getting this thank from? You. Siha Wait, thank you. Wait, hang on. This is Wikipedia. Wait, hang on. This is Wikipedia. No, no. This is Wikipedia. I'm reading what you what you are what you are mentioning. I'm, where I, is the reference? You think this? I wrote this? I wrote this. 
I don't know who wrote. Anyone can uh, go and update uh, Wikipedia. I think Muslim. I think Muslims did this, right? This is not. These are not my words. I just anyone did. Can, I just asked can Prophet go Google and peace be stuff. upon him, right? At least Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. He gives answers. These, these. Okay, hang on. Let's let's get back to zero, like the way you and uh, your your big brother likes. Mm -hmm. um, these are the six kutub, the books of hadith which are most reliable in the sense of collection. Thank you. Thank in you. Sense of Thank you for confirming I'm it. I'm not done. Okay. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay. In terms of collection. But what it contains can have weak hadith and they're collecting and segregating the strong, the weak, okay. the hasan, the sahih, have you... the daif, the maudu. Okay. Whatever, does that mean? Does that mean? Does that mean if it's part of the six books, is it to be? Is it accepted of, or is it rejected? If it is a daif hadith, we don't take it. If it's a matter of aqidah, get lost, you liar! You have no shame. You have no dignity. See, I waited for that, guys. I don't have time for kids. You filthy liar! You have no shame. You have no dignity. Go ahead. Let me call the other guy. You know, I don't have time for kids, guys. Taqiyah does not work with me. I don't, I don't give attention to people who use taqiyah. I have no time for kids. Uh, Peter Jean called me. Let me call him back. Peter Jean, I'm calling you. I'm calling you back, my friend. Hello? Hello, Peter. What's up? Hey, how are you? I'm fine, man. Uh, I wanted to, to talk to you to, you know, first of all, I just want to say that, uh, you know, your show and CP show, yes. it's kind of funny because it's kind of similar, but at, at the same time, it's different because, you know, you kind of go into the depth of everything. And I really like that. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for that because you give it, because you give it like big knowledge and that's crazy. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. And the second thing I wanted to, to ask you, it's kind of off topic, uh, but it's about, I just found this out. It's about, uh, I don't know if you heard that. I just want to, you to confirm it if you ever heard about it. Uh, it's about Mohammed copying the, the poet Umur Qais. Umur Qais, uh, yeah. Umur Qais, yes. Yes. And yeah. I saw that in, in a video and I don't even, I don't kind of know like, the person that did the video so i wanted like before i show that to one of my muslim friends i just wanted to know what you think about that well that's true muhammad actually uh, was a big fan of amr al-qais amr al-qais was supposedly the son of the last king of <clears throat> the kingdom of G of yemen so the, uh, and many sources say that he was actually a christian and he was a well-known very famous poet of his time right and he wrote a lot of famous poetry and Muhammad because you know 1400 years ago in that desert called Mecca they had nothing they had a couple of camels some sheep only thing to entertain themselves was poetry right and Arab yeah. love poetry every yeah. Arab he knows Arab people love poetry until today Arab people love poetry right yes they use it in uh, songs they use it in all kind of things poetry is really really important aspect in, a, in the Arab world. So the Prophet of Islam, you know, he was stealing poetry, for example, then at the Sa'aw and Shaq al-Qamar. This is, this is actually not talking about the last hour. Actually, Amr al-Qais, when he wrote this, he was writing it about the beauty of a really beautiful woman. Her beauty mm -hmm. was so nice, so beautiful mm -hmm. woman, that he said, because of her beauty, you know, the, the moon will split. And Muhammad took it and made it sound like it's talking about the last hour. <laughs> yeah. So many, many eyes, many eyes, you can go Google it. Many eyes were stolen directly from the poetry of Amr al-Qais. So you're mm -hmm. correct, my friend. Yeah, and, and I, I had a conversation, a live conversation with Brother Christian Prince on it. And you can find the video between my other videos. I will. And I find this funny because you just said that Arabs, you know, love poetry, and that's kind of funny because if you go to say that to a Muslim, they're gonna say otherwise. They're gonna say like, oh, mm -hmm. before there was nothing like called like written text, anything like that. That's you a know, lie. Arabs that's a lie. My yeah. they yeah. didn't know how to read anything like that, and it's which funny is, which is a lie. That. It's a lie. Exactly. How, how do we have then access to the 
poetry of Amr al-Qais. Amr al-Qais lived many years before Islam was created. We still have yes. his books. <laughs> you see the lies? Yes. So, and funny enough, I think like in Arabia, there was a lot of Christians and Jews. So, yeah, you know, Christians and Jews are people really literate. They, yeah. they know how to read, they know how to... To do a lot of stuff. Of so, course, of yeah, course. Funny. Uh, it's, you know, because Muslims, they know the Quran contains many tons and tons and tons of disasters, grammatical disasters, spelling disasters. And I made uh, a couple of live shows about it, right? And today we mentioned it again. And I made a live show with Brother Al Fadi, an ex Muslim who became a Christian from Saudi Arabia. He is a master in Arabic and he was confirming what we were saying live, right? So we had two Arabic speakers, myself and Al-Fadi, who were confirming the disasters of the Quran. And Muslims, because they know the Quran is full of disasters like these, tons of them, they must say, they must use lies, deception and taqiyya, and say uh, the Quran is the basis of the Arabic grammar, which is a lie. Arabic <laughs> existed, the grammar existed many years before the Quran existed or fabricated. Yeah. Right. I think like, I think it was like 10 minutes ago, so someone said that, oh, yes, Arabic was inspired from the Quran. I was like, what the heck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, man, that? as if as if there was no <laughs> Arabic before the Quran. Get lost, I man. Think, why, why do you I, think you're lying to? <laughs> I think that was like the funniest statement I heard all the year long. That yeah. that was like stupid. That was of funny. Course, oh, my God. Of course. I mean, uh, where did the Arab, where did the Arab uh, learn the Arabic from before Quran was... <laughs> <laughs> Before the Quran came, you see, you see the. Nonsense. So what is the Quran then? <laughs> yeah, the Quran, the Quran must be from alien. You know, it's an alien language. <laughs> oh yeah. man! Yeah. Thanks, my man. I really appreciate that you Thanks took my you. call. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Yeah. Have a healthy and happy 2020, my friend. All right, man. Oh, bye. See you. Bye, 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 bye. <clears throat> okay. Someone is asking in the in Skype, is this real Rob Christian? Yeah, this is the real Rob Christian. You want to call me? Go ahead, my friend. Call me. I hope the calls will go through. I'm not sure what's happening with Skype, guys, today. For some reason, I have to close Skype and reopen it over and over so we can call people back. So try. Maybe I'll get the message that I missed the call. But at least I will get the message and I will call you back. Satan is really against our live show today, guys. Satan and his agents are triggered. Yeah, my Skype ID, as Phil Herrera posted in the live chat, is the Rob Christian. You can call me if you're a Christian, you're a Muslim. Call us, we are live. Yeah, prove Rob Christian wrong, Abduls. Don't use taqiyya with me. I will hang up on you when you're going to use taqiyya. I have no time for kids. Right? Be a man. Be a man and don't use taqiyya with me. I have no time for kids. Right? You want to have, have a nice and respectful discussion? Have a nice respectful discussion. Okay? How is, how is it? How is the sixth collection of hadith authentic but you call it, you call a hadith rejected hadith? Which is not. Why is it rejected? I mean if it's rejected, why is it in your books? Why is it in the sixth authentic collection of hadith? Yes, it's da'if, it's class da'if, but it's, you heard the sheikh guys. Let me play the video again. You heard sheikh, ustaz, PhD sheikh, talking about it. Let me play the video again guys. Let me play the video again for you. Uh, okay, here. This is again guys. This is Sheikh Hamza Yusuf. He's a Sheikh. He knows about Islam better than me and you. Let's see what the Sheikh has to say. Each time. So the first Yasin, because Yasin, the Maquri Hala, Yasin, you get. Let's see who's lying, <laughs> me or you, Abdul? You know, I did something called the, uh, the uh, Content of Character, which is a small book on prophetic invocation, uh, prophetic uh, akhlaq. This is a shaykh. Hadith from the Prophet. And there was some weak hadith. It was, it was a collection by Ali Mazrui's father, Amin al Mazrui. And I liked the collection, so I translated it. And, uh, and to be trustworthy, I, all the hadith that he put in, I put in there. And some of them were weak. 
but there, there's there's an attack on weak hadith in our time. so you see he says there's an attack on weak hadith so he's talking about a weak hadith let us continue we weak a weak hadith is is anywhere from a b minus to a d minus so so it's basically a classification you have a you have b c d right so weak is from b to d so it does not mean it's rejected no it's just a classification. It does not mean it's rejected. It actually passed. It's simply a classification. Not more, not less. All right. A Hassan Hadith is, is a B to an A minus. Do you see it? Do you and hear it? And then a Sahih Hadith. I'm just using a language you can understand. A and language a that you understand. Is like a, 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 a Sahih Hadith is from an A to an A plus. Exactly. To 100%. Mutawatir is 100%. Exactly. Al Bukhari is like 98%. 99%. Still accepted, yeah. Muslim Still accepted. Al Bukhari, 99%. Uh, Sahih Muslim, 97%. So, the, the, uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. Did you catch it? A weak hadith is what? Let me go back a little bit. A weak hadith is not thrown out. What did you say, Sheikh? A weak hadith is not thrown out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. What did it? What did it? It it what? It didn't flunk. It passed. What did it have? What did it do? It's a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. So a weak hadith passed. Why you Jaban ibn Jaban? Why you hypocrite Muslims are rejecting weak hadith? It passed. What did the Sheikh say? Flunk. It passed. Thank you. Did you hear? Not thrown out. Exactly. But brother, the hadith is weak, brother. Who cares? It still passed. Thank you, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf. Thank you for the confirmation that weak hadith, especially when it's from the Kitab as Sitta, the authentic six books, still passed. Like this one. It's Daif, but it's only a classification. It's still past. Abdul, you liar, son of a liar. Ya Kazab ibn Kazab. Why are you using lies and deception with us? It does not work anymore. It's 2020. You cannot use the with us. Bam! It passed. You heard the Sheikh? It passed. Do we have any real Muslim who is not using lies and taqiyya? And maybe a sincere one. Exactly, Pharaoh Bigascoro. That's exactly what we are want to say here. Our discussion should be with a Muslim scholar, not with a general Muslim Abdul who has no clue what he's talking about. They keep sending us kids like this guy that we just had a conversation with using taqiyya, lies, deception. Why are the Imams sending us kids? Where is those stars? Where is the Imam? Taqiyya is for Shia. You liar? Taqiyya is for Shia. You filthy liar? Why are you lying? Abdul, why are you lying? Let me spank you again. You like to be spanked, huh, Abdul? You, Abdul, you like to be spanked. Wait, Abdul, wait, wait. Yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul. Yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul. Let me show you a couple of examples. This is taqiyya, lying and deception in Islam. We smile, one of the Sahaba said, guys, we smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them. Now let it sink here, let it sink for a split second. What does this mean, guys, in the chat? What does this mean? When you smile in someone's face, but your heart is cursing, what does that mean? You are using deception. You are cursing them in your heart, but you try to be nice. Say good things. Maybe, you know, you try to reconcile with them. Do you understand? This is actually the definition of taqiyya. Right? Let us continue. 
Where did we get that from? Abu ad -Darda, he said, we smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them. And this is from the mouth of Muhammad. Sorry, of the mouth of the companion of Muhammad. And Al-Bukhari said that Al-Hasan said, the taqiyya or taqiyya, deception on behalf of Islam is allowed until the day of resurrection. Was this, was Al-Bukhari a, was he Shia? Was Al-Hasan Shia? You liar. Was Hasan Shia? No. He was family of the Prophet, right? What about this? You see the lies? How easy it is to spank these Muslims and their lies. Commenting on this hadith, Ibn Shihab, one of the transmitters said, Lies are allowed in three cases in Islam. In war, in the narration of the words of the husband to his wife, in the narration of the words of a wife to her husband. So if a wife can lie to her husband, and a husband can lie to his wife, and you can lie, use taqiyya in war, and we know debating with Christians is war, it's an art of deception. What is left? If you are allowed to lie in all these cases, what is left? A bam! On your face, you donkey son of donkey. You liar, you have no shame, you have no dignity, you have no honor. This is why your follower of a fake, lying, no shame, fake prophet, no honor, sex leader, sex cult leader like Muhammad. Of course you're going to use the same tactics. Open Wikipedia. Go open Wikipedia in your time. I have no time for you. Go. Just go. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Okay? I don't like to spank the same kid over and over and over. Are there any questions, guys? Is there anyone who wants to call me? Uh, Don, you want to call me, my friend? Let me call you. Let me call you. Hope you can pick up my friend, my friend. Yeah, my voice is gone, I know. Okay, I think my this guy... Maybe he's busy or something. Okay. Do we have any more callers? Do we have any more callers? Brother, Taqiyya is only for Shia, brother. Yeah, right. Brother? Brother? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Christian who wants to call us? Before we wrap this up, I said it like 30 <laughs> minutes ago, but you know, I'm having t fun time with you guys. Yeah, we block kids who get spanked over and over. We have we don't have time for kids. You coward! Rob Christian, you're finished! What is left? Yeah, if you can lie to your wife, and your wife can lie to you, you are allowed to lie in debates, you are allowed to lie in war. What is left? And debating is war for them. It's an art of war. It's deception. What is left, Abdul? Coward, open Wikipedia. Go, go open Wikipedia yourself. Here, here's another... Spank on your face. Go cry to Muhammad in his grave somewhere in Medina. Rob, you blocked me. Yeah, I have no time for kids, man. Go get me your daddy. Tell your dad to call me. You're a coward. You're a Jaban. You're a coward, son of a coward. If your father is afraid to call me, ask your mom to call me. Maybe she is the man of the house. Well, Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab, the thing is, Taqiyya is for everybody. You see, this is Sunni, man. Not only Shia. You know, they, they, they are using Taqiyya to, to lie about Taqiyya. 
Can you imagine? They are using taqiyah to lie about taqiyah. <laughs> you see these Sunnis? <laughs> anyway, guys, since I think we are out of Muslims, <clears throat> we are only left with silly jihadi terrorists in the chat. I want to wish everybody a really healthy and wonderful 2020 from the heart. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for watching. I know it was a long live show today. I know. I know. But I had a really wonderful time with you. It's a blessing to be with you guys. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for the truth. It's really takes a lot of energy, it's consuming, energy consuming, but we have to do this, guys, all right? We have to show the truth, the true face of Islam to the sincere Muslims, not the Muslims who love taqiyah and deception. I don't have time for silly kids. I am immune, I'm immune for taqiyah and lies. I have no time for that. Hey, brother Renfro, God bless you. Amen to that, my friend. So, guys, Thank you for watching. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Destroy the like button. And please click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live again. Lord willing, in 2020. I think this is going to be my last live show for this year. It's time to celebrate the last year, guys. It was a good year. Thank you for your support. Really, I, I could not have dreamt to have so many subscribers, so many supporters. Thank you. We cannot do this without you. Keep downloading our videos, guys. Keep downloading our videos. Share them around on social media. Help me to help you. Be blessed. Go celebrate with your family and your loved ones. Thank you so much for the last year. It, was, it has been a blessing to be with you day in, day out, every week. Thank you, Scammer 7, Habibi. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Jesus is Lord. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Muhammad created Islam for his own sexual desires. Aisha said, I see that your Allah, your Lord, hastens to fulfill your sexual desires, Muhammad. Aisha knew her husband was a scam. Aisha knew her husband was a fake prophet. Why are you Muslims today not waking up from that stone that you have been living under? Why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid? Many Muslims in the Middle East are leaving Islam by the thousands, thousands and thousands. Why can't you wake up from your horrible dream called Islam? Wake up. It's time to drop Muhammad. It's time to leave Islam and come back home to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I need Jesus. Everybody here needs Jesus and you need Jesus, my friend, to be saved. Guys, thank you for watching. Happy and healthy 2020 in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching and God bless.